Welcome back. Dude, I literally did nothing. I just closed OBS and reopened it. My internet didn't go out, like, at all. I have no idea what happened. It's just like the server just fucking disappeared. Unless Nmap killed OBS, but that would be fucking stupid. <laughs> that would be the keck. I dare you to do another Nmap scan. All right. I think the printer was connected this like whole time. Um I guess the like web server the web server on the printer has like a login and I I don't understand why. Like I don't know if I fucking set a login or what. Uh Uh, oh yeah, I needed to off. All right, <laughs> we in. Okay, I literally had no idea. What, like, I just assumed that the auth would be like a web page, but it was an HTTP uh, uh, simple authentication or whatever the fuck it's called, basic auth. Oh man. Security, firmware updates, um, air prints. Okay, let's uh, let's figure out what this bad boy can do. I'm in. I'm hacking. <laughs> Fucking four services? No way. There's no way it's only four services. What is this printer even doing? How are you going to have Ode when you have four services? That's just not right to me. Um... Five one five, six thirty one. What are, what what are these? Port six thirty one. IPP IP printer. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, fucking rude. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello? What the fuck is this port? Um, printing services. Line printer daemon? LPD print service? Oh, 631, you're right. Hi, help, hello, exploit, land bug, uh, some new lines, fuck, <laughs> let's see if, uh, let's see if we can find it, um, shit, how would we even look for that, let's find, uh, let's find connect, uh, actually listen, oh baby, oh no, subsystem, listen, Return okay. Is this is this listen? Oh, this is uh, this is receive. <laughs> uh, receive. R rev. Re receive. Um. Yeah. Receive. Listen. So which one? Which one is listen then? Uh. Here's accept. <laughs> Oh, I, I love strings, dude. Make sure whenever you make a device, just make sure that all of these things are readily accessible. Um, let's just find one of these. Uh, listen. 
There we go. Subsystem listen. Hey, we found listen. God, reversing is so easy. <laughs> Can you make the overly transparent? Uh, not really. Um, uh, dude, you can't fucking code and have a webcam. It's so fucking stupid. All right, let's find uh, xrefs to listen then. Uh, we've got three calls to listen. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's a test. And what is this? Is this another test? That's another test. What the fuck is this? Um, what's this bind? Yeah. Is this a address? Um, are these like dispatch routines? I'm actually really curious. I guess I can literally just search for, I don't know, it's gonna come up all over the place, but port 631, uh, 277. Question is, which Indianist do they store it in? Uh, 0277. Uh, let's just search for both Indianists, I guess. Uh, 277, search all, it's gonna be Seventy-seven oh two. Um, I guess I would expect it would be in RAM, and I would expect. I mean, it might. They might literally have an. Nah. Okay, let's try Big Indian. There's just gonna be so many false positives. Um, it's just too, it's too common of a, of a number, right? But I'm basically looking if anything in here has xrefs. Um, but this just isn't gonna work. Um, no. If I get, if I could get the service to fucking talk to me, I could actually figure out, like, oh, dude, come on, dude. What the fuck? Um... Uh, 631. I just wanted to say something to me. Um, come on. Come on. You got to, like, echo fucking something. Question mark. A lot of these services take like single things. No, nope. God, it really wants me to fucking talk to it, doesn't it? That's dumb. Uh, except. Hmm. I'm just concerned there's gonna be multiple accepts. That's like what I suspect is gonna happen. It's probably like four implementations of accept. It's actually no xrefs to accept. Nice. Um, let's see. I mean, we could try and do an another analysis. We just did one, I think. Here's another accept. Is this a different accept? No, it's the same one. Oh, no, this is a different accept, isn't it? We didn't miss on accept, did we? No, there's just two accepts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're fucking identical. Oh, what are the odds? Nice. Uh, 
Fucking knew it, dude. I knew there'd be multiple accepts. That's fucking ridiculous. Nice. Okay, this one's used. Uh, this looks like a test function. Yeah, test. And then this looks like a wrapper around accept. Uh, I don't know what this is. And what is this? Well, true. So they might have like a service implementation. So I'm really looking for like dynamic dispatch sort of thing. So let's see where this goes. Um, let's see, uh, wraps, accept. And then no xrefs to this function. If it's less than zero, then this is an error case. Hmm. Still looking for someone to drop something in? Yeah, I, I have literally no idea where this printer accepts input. Literally the hardest part of hacking. Um, all right, are there more accept implementations? Given these don't have xrefs, I think there are more accepts, to be honest. Um, we just haven't found our way in. Um, so what can we search for? Any good strengths? So, so far, all of these have been identical. Um... So I really want to find like magic string or magic numbers or something. So I think they're just going to have multiple of these and it's going to be hard to find the right one. APLI. Like these clearly need to have xrefs. So um, we could search for this address since it's ARM. This will probably work okay, to be honest. Okay, uh, then maybe it's this function right here. That's one of the receives. Is this accept? Um, this is more receive. You know what? I bet this is accept. I'd have to find where the code starts, but I would um I. I think it just hasn't been disassembled. Unless this is, uh, hmm, no. Listen. These aren't using those strings. So I would expect that they're probably nearby. The question is, oh, here's another. Uh, well, that's one of the accepts that we already have looked at. Call trees, yeah, no calls to this one. Um, uh, but these aren't the accepts that we're looking for. Oh, they are. Okay. Um, why does Gija not think those are xrefs then? Oh, it doesn't think that's an address. Address of this. Is that because it's doing a straight ADR? Uh, I think it's because I just fucked with too many of the uh, memory regions, and now it's just really confused because it just doesn't know what things are anymore. Um... I'm kind of tempted to just load up the uh, kernel into RAM. Let's just do that. Let's uh, let's do that quick. This is decompress.bin. Is that the one? Okay. Apparently, this window cannot be closed. Nice. Okay, it's just frozen. Oh. I probably have a prompt that's like, do you want to close? Oh, I have that open. I see. Okay. Uh, 
Open, decompressed, uh, cannon. Uh, decompression. Decompress dot bin. Yep. Okay. We're going to say arm v7 little. And then we will load this at zero. And we'll just say this is RAM. Um, even though it's not all of RAM. And then that was loaded at zero. Uh, don't analyze it yet. And then what we're going to do is mark it as not being uh, writable. OK, so now, hopefully, we'll get better analysis. Let's turn on parameter ID. Sometimes things just get fucked if you like add remove segments. The same problem happens in Ida and every other tool in the world. I just like don't trust tools to add regions to them. So these are looking better. So hopefully we have a little bit better XRFs, but it's hard to say to be honest. Um, we can close those, and we can close that so we don't get confused. Okay, let's uh, reorganize. There we go. Having zero mapped in can be really fucky, to be honest. That's one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is having zero mapped in. I'm almost tempted to like load this where I don't have the first like, I don't know, 32K mapped in or something. Um, but whatever. So let's find strings. And now we can look for accept and then hopefully. So we have xrefs here. Some test thing. Uh, oh, let's just here. Um, so this is going to be, we're going to get serious about this database. Um, all right. This is a socket. OK. Is this error? No. No, I don't think so. Um, this is uh, get adder info. Okay. Um, bind return this. So this is a bind. Okay, and then this is uh, printf. I don't know if it's a uh, variable argument. I don't know. Hmm. I'm a little bit too worried about naming that yet. Um, do these all take the same number of args? So far they have. It's hard to say if these take, uh, actually, oh yeah, and then tool options. Do you have to do this every fucking time? I even, I forgot where it was. Um, it's like that's following at least. Definitely variable arguments. OK, then uh, let's see what Ghidra can do here. Um, let's see if it can do uh, variable arguments. Nice. Um, yep, 
Yep, and now that's printf. Uh, yeah, and it looks like Ghidra's handled that quite well. PUVAR5, find results, get address info. Good, 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 good. Okay, what is this? So this is error now. If it's that, set it that to zero. Otherwise, just get that. I don't know what 37 is, but this must be error now. What does this do? Just returns a value. Um, Cram one. Okay, so that gets error now and sets it to an argument. And then this multiplies that by four, adds it to this. Which I guess is uh, 509, 50C. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. That might be a string. Hey, the awesome -o. How's it going? Um, yeah, this is just like uh, Arano, right? I I'm pretty comfortable with that because we have multiple things that reference that as Arano. We'll save. Okay, what's this? Halt bad data. Branch 3A2. Um, huh. I don't want to add that other region. Yeah, all these are going to call it, though. The 3A2 region is, uh, is it, uh, 3A2. Oh, that's in the bootstrap copy. Three two. Huh. I wonder, hmm. Yeah, it's calling into the, like that initial copied stuff. I'm gonna try adding it and hopefully it doesn't fuck up, but I'm just really can, I'm concerned things won't uh, do the right thing. Uh, I need to DD that out. All right, we're just gonna go without for a second. Bind error no. Find okay, so this is accept. And then I'm just gonna look through a couple of these. All right, so what is this? Uh, X H M S G free. Um, this is XHMSG out UBuff. Error no. This is, uh, this is like, uh, get error now, right? And I don't know if it returns anything. I guess it does. So what are these printfs? Is this just a, another printf? It looks like it. Seriously, it just looks like another printf. This is my favorite thing about embedded stuff. People are always so worried about like code size being an issue and then they do shit like this. I mean, they use printf here, and then what What the fuck is this? Unless this is puts. No, that's return to error in negative one. Like, it's just, it's just another printf. Sick. Yep. Yeah, return this. Yeah, like, it, 
They literally use two different printups in the same function. Um, this is uh, xhmsg get. Uh, return error. Return error on what? Subsystem fatal? On this? This function is xh request. E timeout. If it's zero, delete error. Is this uh, XHT SK list Dell? Okay. Sleep fatal. Who fucking checks a sleep? If it's that, it's a timeout. Otherwise, it's that. Otherwise, XH sleep. Is this sleep? Yep. Okay, what is this if? Not sure. Um, message is null. Don't know what that is. Okay. Get error now. To local 10, return. Pram 1. Does this get the error no address? Yeah. Set error now. Uh, get error now adder. I don't know what this shit is, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, that sets error now. That makes sense. It's on error path. Same thing here. Same thing here. Okay, that's looking much better. Let's look for more accepts. The more functions we can name, the better. Let's find something a little bit deeper. Um, okay. Is this the only accept? All right. So let's see what we have on call trees. And it's just those two. Uh, basically, it's unable to find more accepts. Oh. One, two, three, four. Get error, no address. Get error now. Setting things in globals. Setting things in globals. Um. Okay. 
God, I don't know a good way to look for who calls except. Oh, I hate this shit, dude. It's so fucking hard. Yeah, there's just a lot more code here than Ghidra thinks. Let's see if I can... Finds valid code in undefined bytes that have not been disassembled. Should not be run unless good code has already been found. Okay. Uh, let's fucking go. Let's, let's ship it. Because, like, all this shit is probably code. I think we have enough stuff to find that hopefully it will anchor quite well. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, there's just... Come on. Come on, aggressive instruction finder. Oh, look how aggressive that is. Like, are these things... I feel like most thing. I feel like most things in this are... I don't know. It's hard to say how much of this should be data and how much should be code. Strings. These look fun. I, I want to get that shell. So, come on, dude. Come on, aggressive instruction finder. How aggressive even are you? Ooh. Parameter ID. Do your thing. Like, technically, there might be some of the 18 address references, some of the alias references, and that makes it harder for it to find stuff. Okay. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to assemble. Why would I want to assemble? Um, so looks like there's more accept calls. Uh, looks like we have to refresh this. What? Oh, does this thing just not work? References to, okay, so there's four references to accept, but only two in, okay, cool. Um... So I guess we have those references and then the other listen okay. NSST receiver. All right, and then this one. All right, that's like the accept wrapper thingy. Let's take a look at this. Um, called by this. Uh, no XRFs to this one. Okay, not a big deal. Um, so that looks like test stuff. Yeah, this is, uh, let's just say, I, IPv6 coding test. And then this, this actually looks like a, a pretty... Uh, is this just like do everything? NSST receiver start. 
Uh, create a socket. Um, what I'm looking for is kind of dynamic stuff. I, I kind of suspect that what they will probably do is they'll probably have a list of services and then that service list, uh, like something will iterate and just like launch all of the services, which will like kick off threads or some shit. Um, bind error. Is this close? Okay, close. Extra out R1. So I actually take that many args. I feel like that is unlikely given they're all undefined. Prem four, okay, it does use that. Um, set sock opt, SO reuse address. This looks like this is the core, this looks like the core binding thing. It makes a socket, um, it binds, sets, uh, sets reuse address on it, uh, calls listen. Um, once listen is good, it accepts. Sets reuse address. This is a uh, this is receive. Okay, it's our first receive. Check data error. What the fuck that means? Do yeah. Look at this. Do while receive. Right. That is what I like to see. So is there a dispatch here? Like an indirect call. Check data error. I'm kind of curious if this is just gonna pump data. Unless this is NSST receiver only, but this looks pretty nice. Um, let's see. Um, I'm really confused. Store R0 to here, but it also assigns R0 at the same time. I guess we, cl uh, we load over it. Compare R0, load SP18. Um, like, what the fuck is this checking? LDRSP eighteen. It's been stored. Like, what? What is this doing? Also, the fact that this is a global is really concerning. It means that this is probably only one specific service. Um, I was hoping this is like a generic implementation, but it doesn't seem to be. Uh, we receive. Except this is the... Okay, so this is the accepted clients, the buffer, and then five B4 bytes. So it's basically buffering that standard receive call there. Um, let's just, uh, this receive, since it has the same prototype as all receives, we're just gonna go and uh, fix that. Okay. Um. Okay, receive error. So this is the length while IVAR1, while we're less than the length. So we're just gonna like iterate over this thing. Um, stack 68, FF. Uh, 
stack 68. Starts as FF, add one. If it's equal to 100, it's zero. Okay, and then we go into here. We read Ivar one on that. I just, I don't understand what this service fucking does. Um, if it's not equal to this literally just is taking sequential data. I think this is a test. Like, you're just supposed to jam sequential data into this. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can find more receives. Um, there's two calls to receive this one in like, let's just say this is N S S T recover. And then this is like a receive wrapper. Given we've seen wrappers for a couple things. Okay. This is, this is hitting a lot of places. Okay. Well, I highly doubt there is 10,000 hex bytes on the stack here. I highly doubt they allocated 10,000 hex bytes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe they malloced it. Maybe they malloced it. Pram 2. Okay. Okay. That's fun. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Um, one, two, three, four. What? What the fuck is this? Like, set error no? Is this just a wrapper around libc receive? I don't know what these functions do. Are those, like, locks uh, or something like that? Well, whatever. This is clearly fucking receive. Let's, uh, let's name it as such. All right. Um, okay. Okay. And what is this? Another wrapper on receive? A wrapper on receive with, uh, like, uh, failure dispatch or something like that? They got another receive wrapper? How often is this fucking used? Oh, nice, dude. All over the place. HTTP misc. Okay, so this is, like, uh, okay, this is, re <laughs> this is receive with a, a cert. So, basically, you give it the receive arguments. And then you give it the uh, source and line. Okay, so this is like um, receive with a cert, and then a char source and int line. Beautiful. And there we go. Receive with a cert. What else is this used? Here. Okay, what is this? Oh, I bet this is receive all. No, cert manager, 321. Mm, one, two, receive one byte. If it's less than one, okay, so not that. Receive with a cert, cert manager. I don't know, some, uh, some stuff going on here. Oh boy. Um, we could actually try and mid on one of these requests. I think that might be our best oracle, actually, is um, we could try to have it do a firmware update to us because we can see what kind of get request. It probably uses, like, a fucking pre predefined uh, get request. Um, so we could try to basically get this thing to uh, request uh, something from us. But let's keep looking at receives here. One of these is probably receive all. Um, len... If it's less than one, break. So if it's zero, EOF. Uh, okay, add, subtract. This is receive all. Uh, it's receive all because it's basically doing receive in a loop, and then every time it does a receive, it subtracts from param four. Uh, if it's zero, it just breaks. So basically, this is uh, while the bytes expected is uh, greater than zero, then uh, receive 
uh, len bytes at a time, which is going to be that size. And what is three? Is this like the chunk size? If four is greater than three, so yeah, this is like chunk size. So I think, what is this? This, uh, I don't know, some Aranos shit. Cert manager? Um, let's see. Let it, uh, let me go, f uh, look at that. Uh, that was one of these. Well, there's a couple of these. Well, let's see if it lines up with line 321, I guess, uh, um, how do I equate that here? Where even is that? Cert manager. The fuck is 321? All right, whatever. 801. Well, there's not 801 lines in this file, but uh, we could try and find... Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like there's a good chance of a collision on that name, to be honest. All right, let's keep looking at receives here. Uh, yeah, let's see. That's receive with the certs. Um, this is, you give it a socket, you give it a buffer. I don't understand how this works. Um, <laughs> this is clearly some error thing here. Yeah, some, some error print, maybe printf error. Oh. Sick. Um, is this? It's like throw error or like I don't know something error related. Okay. It's probably max len, but like, where's it? Re like, how? I just is I don't get it, cause like, um, Hmm. Like, it, it, I think it's supposed to be, like, a receive, um, receive all. Uh, like, receive all with param 3 specifying a chunk size. Yeah, param 4 is how much you want to receive. Param 3 is, like, a chunk size, buffer size. Param 2 is a buffer. Param 1 is the socket, right? But how does this work? <laughs> because it's it just reads to the same buffer over and over and never fucking copies it or increments this pointer. So like what what's the point? <laughs> like cool. You can you can receive multiple times to the same buffer and then you just I guess maybe this is like drain receive. Like
Um, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, maybe it doesn't update the pointer, right? Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's, yeah, like, I don't get it. <laughs> Um, why do you do over floating window? I just like having the more organized windows, lighter weight. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it, this could just be like a received draining. It's just a stu- uh, uh, Like, uh, receive all, kinda, but broken. This is an int socket. And this is a void buffer. Um, then we have a, let's just say size T, buffer land size T to receive. Uh, it looks like it returns an int probably. Uh, we can, uh, type this to an int. Actually, we'll set this to a size T. Unless it's reading to, uh, mm, no. Keep in mind, we do have RAM set to non-writable, so there might be some situations where, like, things get updated, uh, but it's presumed that they don't actually get updated. Um, but I'm not really seeing anything in here in the assembly that would indicate that. But, yeah, clearly this is uh, a little broken. All right, let's keep looking at receives. Like, fuck it, like... I feel like 10,000 hex is aggro. Like, I'm very skeptical. I'm very skeptical that this buffer is 10,000 hex bytes. I, I mean, I don't want it to be. I don't know why I'm pretending like I would want it to be. Uh, prim 1 plus 10. Uh, right? Pram one. Passed in. Let's just look at, uh, let's try and find where that gets sourced. I mean, that looks to be a pretty big structure. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might not put it past it, to be honest. It might be legit. Let's find more references to receive. Let's just keep looking at receives. Um, this receive. Client get... So it looks like the wrapped receive is an HTTP specific thing. Maybe makes sense. Huh. HTTPC receive get ROM data response. Client get. Um. Uh, 
Put the flashback? Yeah, we've put the flashback in. Um, what? Did I go to sleep or some shit? I hit a button on it. <sighs> um, can the NC do SSL? I think NCAT can. Let me grab NCAT quick. I mean, yeah, I, like... Oh, since CRLF. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Um... To be honest, I don't really want to go after the HTTP server, but whatever. Um, let's look for meme version. Okay, let's look for, uh, let's look for this. Look for this. I'm just trying to find a unique string that only has one occurrence. There's actually two occurrences of this, but only one occurrence with it tabbed in. Um, let's find this. That's probably unique. Yeah, that is. Okay, sweet. Uh, this. Okay, so, hmm. Well. Connection is crowded. Um, just maybe he hasn't found the uh, like, this is clearly the string that's getting sent down. Um, but not seeing any refs to that. Let's see if there's uh, any memory refs to it. Nope. That is Little Indian, too. So someone could rip rel that, but I kind of would have expected, like, a table. Unless these are just in order. No, they're not. They're all kind of at the end. I'm just worried we're missing a lot of code. Like, like is this is this really data right here? Okay, maybe. Um. Let's look uh, unaligned. Yeah. Update succeeded. M E S. Update succeeded. Yeah. Um. Install updates. Please wait. M E S. So these are like. Ever load the other code that needed to be DD'd out? Nah.
I like am wondering if they have two kernels. To be honest. Like I actually wonder if they have two kernels. Um Like what are these? What sock API? Right, what is this? It's like test shit. Set IPv6 stop. XH log. Set monitor cancel, join stop. Um, no extras. I guess receive from. We haven't looked for receive from. Here we go. This is receive from. Let's take a look at this. Maybe they just maybe they just use receive from for most of their shit. I, I don't fucking know. Uh, one call to receive from, and it's from this wrapper. Um, receive from, yeah, and this is called from this, and this is called from this, MDNS. Um, this is an MDNS record parser. Um, it, yeah, like, Prem, uh, let's see. Prim 2, I'm guessing this is probably a stir copy. Receive message. Is that converting it to hex? Looks like that is converting it to hex. Prim 4. From Prim 3. FBE zero. Yeah, but that's the only occurrence they've received from. Isn't Bonjour the Apple stuff? Yeah. Um. Receive setup response. Okay, what's this? Looks like a parser of something. This is a lot. Um, like forty nine F nine, no. It seems like they probably compiled the HTTP library with strings and everything else doesn't have strings. Um, free cookie. Ike, okay. DNS update. DNS update get address info. Like, I really would like to find these. DNS would really be nice. Could probably actually pop the DNS uh, side of things pretty easy. Um, delayed act, naggle. Like, I, it feels like they have like multiple fucking stacks. Like, legal argument. TCP util. Like, what? Like, what? What is this shit? Like, how? how is there nothing that references this memory? Like, 
There's only so far you can go, uh, PC relative. It just feels like something is missing, right? Um... Yeah, DTP, like, all of this is DTP stuff? Like, come on. Do IPv4 a DTP S start. Return Netsys. Oh, we kind of saw this stuff before, yeah. Um, Netsys. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You know what? Let's look for this one exists, but I wonder if this will really. That's just gonna exist by coincidence. Um, DHCPS, like, I feel like you can't, in some way, you can't really go that far, PC relative. It just feels like I'm missing something pretty massive. Like, how would it? <clears throat> Unless they have like some really weird string tables. Ah, uh, this doesn't look like code to be honest. Yeah, it's clearly not code. I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's look at that. We know set size, let, uh, let's do that. Um, set sock opt. Debug log start. Um, so there's like, there's a really weird uh, chance that they had assertions or something, and those assertions referenced various strings, or, and the assertions got compiled out, which means the code that references these strings don't exist, but the strings were somehow not garbage collected. Um, and maybe that's why we just have so many like strings for shit that isn't used. Like that's the, I don't understand what else would really make sense. But I, I mean, we have things that are just not fucking getting ref that we know have to get ref. Like, HTTP 1.0. Right, we're like. I'm curious though, some of these pages. Let's see. Forbidden. 
Not found. ISO, UTF, head, okay. Like, let's look at an example of something that is referenced. Four, forty four four three five. Okay, so that's like plus eight. I think that's a coincidence. Yeah, that's a string. That address happens to line up with a string. IJ gets at uh, this dot CGI. Let's try this. Nope. Um, hmm. Like, I just don't really see where there would be more code. Huh. Usually thumb is really nice because you can just get those extra so fucking easy. Like this is probably code in here. Oh. Unknown format conversion code. Basically, this is like formatting addresses. Um... Hmm. Okay, uh, I guess we can go the other way and let's look at the, um, let's look at the internal stuff. Maybe, maybe things don't call receive, they use the internal side of things. I don't know. This looks pretty complex. I can't remember. I can't imagine they would just code dupe this everywhere. Get a message. Set buff.
I just, I don't understand where there's like a massive amount of code. They must have some really weird way of getting strings. <sighs> they did some really weird, uh, like PC relative stuff. Um, where they like added like PC to a register. And I'm really curious if maybe that's happening. We only saw that in like two spots and it looked handwritten. Like I've never seen a compiler really output that um, style of code. It just seems a little strange, but maybe they added some weird flags to their compiler. Let's take a look at, uh, uh, let's search for, Um, add. Yeah, I need to find a different way to do that, don't I? Um, Look for comma PC. Bunch of pops. Yeah, just not enough like PC copies. Yeah, I we just don't see that in any functions. I don't fucking get it, dude. Like, where the fuck are these... Where's this code? Um... Like, what's the largest indirection that you can do? Um, let's take a look at the database where we have everything loaded. Let's just look at I don't know. Uh one D eight E eight. Hang receive from. Okay, is this used anywhere? Mm, no. What the fuck? It makes no fucking sense. 
I would need like five times as much code as I have here. And those strings are definitely used. What fucked way are they accessing strings? What on earth are they doing? Um... They have the weirdest fucking way of getting strings. Like, what the fuck? They just like ha just have strings in here for fun. What is this? Trash. Uh, we got a gif, we got a gif. Nope. Let's see what the arm aggressive instruction finder can do. Okay, the arm AIF, it's running. Oh, oh, oh. Is the arm AIF the dream? I don't think so. I don't think it did shit. Come on, aggressively find those instructions. Oh, it's stuck on a function. Hmm. It's 
It doesn't like this uh, one, two, three, five, B four. It's very confused there. What's this? Is this real? Yeah, those are rotates. This is real. Weird function. Oh, I guess, yeah, those are just rotates. I don't know, maybe this isn't real. Eh? That looks kind of like a, a mem copy. Funk function. Come on, you can you can make it past this. It might have fucking infinitely looped. Sad day. The dream, dude. Um, it's just fucking broken. God damn it, dude. I don't fucking get it. Like, unless it's one of those thunks. Well, that's, th this is just noise. Pretty sure this is just rent. Mm. Are these random instructions? No. Yeah, there's a PC pop. Uh, it'd be it it would be so nice. It would be so nice if this did something. It's a fine condition. It's a fine condition. It's people all that's a that's a common condition to write. Everyone's done one of those in their day. Well, Gage is broken. I like these function tables. These are kind of cool. Little like, octal handlers or something. Like device implementations. Oh, there's a little meat in some of these. Um. Why not try Binary Ninja? Binary Ninja has terrible support for uh, firmware and raw binaries. Well, the fuck, dude? Like, put a goddamn time. Had... So fucking annoying, dude. Let's see if it gets stuck again. Come on. I want to see these get defined. Because these are clearly thumb functions. And they're function entry points, so they're so easy to get.
Hmm. Is this stock again? God damn it, Ghidra. You piece of absolute Java shit. All right, let's 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 look at this. Why is this so hard to determine it's a function? Cuz it's a big slur. Okay, I'll give you that. That's hard. This one, not so much. Uh call to a big slur and then uh, there's meat there. But it already knew that was a function. It just didn't know that was a reference to it. Okay. Thinks these are labels. They're not. These are functions. This is like, this is a function, right? This is a function. Come on. Um, once again, that's a function. And oops, that's also a function. Like all of these things are functions. Um... Then this is a thunk. Mm, actually, that might not be real. <laughs> um, one C, okay. Um, it's on the high side of RAM, but that's acceptable. That's not a function. Not a function. Is this code? Uh, uh, debatable. Yeah, yeah, no. Mm. Like, it would be dreamy if just all of this shit was code. Right? That's like exactly what I want is like all of this shit to be code. But I don't think it is. Too many too many nulls. Hmm. It's just noise, I think. Yeah, this doesn't look like code to me. Um... Hmm. 
Unless it's just the permissions on the fucking memory. It's just throwing it off. We'll do one without the memory permissions. Hey Masters, how's it going? You know the Canon Pixma firmware is compressed and encrypted? I don't think it's encrypted. Hmm. Like, I wonder how much it is the, like, memory aliasing stuff. Um... JavaScript. I just don't think there's really more code here. It's just so weird. So fucking weird, dude. Like, it's like a really weird string table. ADR2, that's local. Most of these pointers are Cheers from Kenya, hell yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh, a oh, no pointer exception. Ooh, Java. Woo. I don't get it, dude. I don't get it. Like... <sighs> um... 
Let's just see if we can find some like pointers in the middle of fucking nowhere here. Are you a pointer? Are you a pointer? No. No, definitely not pointers. Is that a pointer? No. Um... What the fuck? What the absolute fuck? Oh my god, dude. Uh. Hmm. Are these pointers? I think these are code pointers. THU Are these like fucking pointer tables? Um... EB1B... XOD 5A17 HPG Hi. Uh, OE A one six D. Nothing super meaningful there. OE seven D E F. A function. O X. Uh, there's a 184D F140, which is uh, equivalent to this. Doesn't exist.
Actually, weird string table. Like, I'm... Like, maybe. Um... Like, it would explain why we only really see strings in the HTTP stuff. Like, the HTTP stuff was probably just compiled uh, with a different compile... A different compiler, or at a different time, or some shit. X, O, F, 2, C, 1, F. It's a function. O, F, 2, B, D, 3. 10, 9, 1, F, 9. Like, are these, like, debug symbols? Like, yeah. What the fuck is this? OEBB49. Like, this is not a coincidence that all of these things hit. Like, these hit so fucking hard. Uh, 10, 1, E, 2, 1. There's some things that don't necessarily make sense in here, but a lot that do. Uh, 184DEE8C. Do we know what's stored there? 18. 184D. Is that just RAM? Just straight RAM? Maybe it is. Um. 4E23CO. No. Like, I don't think there's enough data in here. LA9A9B. The fuck is this thing, dude? Five zero six a two four. Three five. Three six DF. That's like the first pointer in here. Three five three sixty six. Two. Ah, dude, I don't know what this is. This is weird. Three five three nine nine two. One hundred fifty. It's some fucking string pool. Whatever. Actually, four e four nine. Yeah, go. Cool. Okay, good. Dude. What is this? Like... Is... Okay, let's see if there's references to this. Um, a 1850... Sorry, fifty one eight. One eight fifty A four.
I just don't understand how this would be used. Here's what I'm scared about. That this, like, string table is loaded in some weird-ass fucking spot in memory. Um... 1VEA. And then these are pointers again. Oh, oh my God. Is there any, how would this be used? Five, two, that makes no sense. And that's a pointer, right? It's not a fucking coincidence. What is this thing, dude? Like, I'm really scared that these are, like, load addresses for this, like, table. These are all RAM addresses. Uh, one. Okay, another address. One. Oh, it makes no sense, dude. Um... So, this is a uh, RLE block. That's an address. One eight references this it's an address to a one F D one eight four D. This is the alias block. These are pretty heavily X refed. And then these are all pointers, right? Um, like this, that's a pointer, that, right? These are all these are all pointers. All right, uh, one out of five. And they're almost all pointers to strings, which is really fascinating. Um. And then that's the end. This is a function that is thumb. Nope, maybe not. One twenty one point five. Why are these all numbers? Why are these all string representations of numbers? I 
think those are real pointers. We just, uh, I don't know if those are pointers to RAM or what. FC. These are ref and functions. Connect. So connect reads this, which contains an 1840 address, and then that refers to a 353F, which is in, hmm. So we have an XREF to here, but then we have no XREFs to here. Is this a table? Is this 20 hex entries in this table? This table has 20 hex entries, fucking guarantee you. Let's do it, let's do it. Uh, here we go, here we go. Um, this is a an array uh, with uh, 32 entries. Shit. But this gets x -refed. Right? This function reads this. Param1. Um... Address of this, which is a 20. Um, wow, it literally uses this for a constant 20. Holy shit. That's fucking crazy. Like, this is some really weird... This references that. This is used here. Oh boy. Um, stores there, loads this, which contains a pointer to this. Hey, Roboboto, how's it going? This is a function. Um, like this, this isn't a coincidence. But how are these used? Our Lee block. Um. Early block alias 45 and RAM goes to 36C. Okay. Um, it's 
three six C, and then we have this sum copy at three A, and then we have this RLE block, clearly a like uh. Some sort of like a string function dispatchy table. Um, and Ram seems aliased at 18. I'm curious if it's aliased again. And that's fucking us. Decompress kernel entry. But what I want is a decompression of this here. This is used in more places. No, just that one. But hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. One F nine. That's curious to me. So it's returning a one F nine. Let's see if it reads from there. Main P of R. Pram one. Pram one. That's like a heapy thing. Because uh, I think we have all the aliases in here. MMIO. Flash, flash alias. It's hard to say like where that uh, comes from. Can I do that? Is it remove? Command, delete, there we go. Um, Hmm. Bite map, bite mapped. We have a couple holes in here, but I don't know how many addresses we saw in those holes, to be honest. Like, it feels like most pointers are good. We'll see if this AIF helps. I, I don't know how it treats these alias regions, if it like reanalyzes them or what it does. It's like kind of weird, especially with relative addressing. I don't think it matters too much, to be honest. Um, no reference to that. And that's what's so weird to me. I, I feel like we're still missing some of the firmware. I just don't know where it would be. Um... 
That's it's kind of weird. Unless there's a lot of code that hasn't been discovered, but that is that doesn't really make sense to me. Um. Hmm. Where else would there be instructions? Like, unless the rest of Flash, that other entropy area, um, I wonder what this is. Let's look at uh, 1.32 E, oops, 1.32 E7. Um, okay. OX C nine six A eighty uh FO Um Cause it's all Fs and then stuff happens. Um, so entropy goes to basically nil at one point one six six nine E oops uh one point one six six nine E seven and then so that is at O X F O B two O E O eight. Okay, yep, that's good, and it should change very soon here. Or actually, uh, I think it should switch to that. Since we kind of cursored over it, it isn't necessarily going to be a perfect boundary here. Um. But yeah, I think this lines up. We're about to cross over into, yeah, stuff here. And then that becomes Fs. And it's Fs for a while, and then some data, and then Fs for a while, and then some data. Uh, and what is this data? Definitely code. Let's take a look at this. CF9. So I'm curious if... Let's turn that off. Um... I wonder if that's just the like MMIO commands. Maybe that's the DRAM programming. There's a lot there's a lot of references to C addresses.
Where does this section start? Come on, what the fuck? There we go. There it is. This is reft by this. This, that is unknown. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, shit. Is that a mem set? No. What is this? Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. Is this decompressing? This looks like decompression. Um... Two. Source? Is this source? Okay. This might be big. Is that the length? X FE 5B 20? 16 megs? Pram two plus three, pvar three. Are we writing to ram? Writing to pram two. Th dude, this is decompressing something massive. I think this is the. God damn it, dude! Are you fucking serious? We were in this function before. This is called very early, dude. Right? This is called early, right? What is this? These are are these the res are these the real reset vectors? Hmm, maybe not. Uh well any rest to this. Yes. LDRPC. You know, we just, like, we never actually figured out the entry point, to be honest. Um, we kind of always assumed that the entry point is this. Um, and there's really no evidence for that, other than it being, you know, some really early code.
I don't think those are vectors. We need to find the entry point. Like, we just kind of assumed these were the uh, reset vector, or th that we assumed this was the entry point. Not necessarily true. Um, what we want is kind of an F address in here. Here's an F. Here's an F address. This code? No. I don't think so. F12? Eh. No. Honestly, reset vectors would probably be like at the end, maybe. OA at the very end. There's a peak in entropy at the end, isn't there? Let's find it. This. Is this reset vectors? Um, one, one 1.6. Six seven two four zero E seven Okay. F O F F six E A zero. Reset vectors, reset vectors, please, at flat zero. At flat zero, uh, preceded by Fs. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Please, please, it's Fs, it's Fs, and then right when we get to the page boundary, please be reset vectors. No. Um, actually, clear. Ooh. Ooh. A Blix. Mm. Branch of equal to here. I don't know, like, I feel like... If it's not equal, then fall through. Store. Hmm. 
F1. Okay. F. Hmm. Referenced by this. Do you only know armor? Are you familiar with x86 as well? I'm familiar with pretty much all architectures. This is this looks like garbage. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, maybe maybe it starts in uh thumb mode. What if it starts in non thumb mode? Big. 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 Non thumb LDR PC LDR PC LDR PC Oh baby Uh we got a NOP LDR PC this is not a coincidence. I think these are the reset vectors. Well this is the reset vector specifically. Um Hmm. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. So this loads PC with an aligned address. So if that loads it with an aligned address, then this would be uh, arm. This would not be thumb. I'm just gonna make sure. Uh, I'm going to make sure for sure that this code is disassembled as arm. Okay. Let's make this a function. Um, create function. Uh, I mean, that... that is that a thumb call? Uh, a Blix to four two. Then that, if that's a Blix, then this should be uh, arm, right? Oh, cause I thought it had to end with a one, but I guess it just has to be non four byte aligned. Is that true? Um, VLX arm. Because I'm used to it being one, but let's see. If bit zero of RM is zero, then it rem remains in arm state or changes to. Yeah, so that's weird. Um, like these totally look like fucking reset vectors. I'm just confused. It's thumb. How is it thumb though? Doesn't the bottom bit have to be set? Because it's a label?
Oh. It BLX always changes. Oh, I had I did not know that. Okay. So this blixes uh we load a value we store it we store a zero to somewhere. Cheers, mate. And then this uh so that returns branch and exchange and then this uh exchanges as well once again we do that i think all right i think these are the reset vectors chat are you are we comfortable with that are we comfortable with this being the reset vector because i'm pretty comfortable with these being reset vectors is this the correct amount of reset vectors Um, oh, so the reset vector for ARM processors is zero or FFFF zero, 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 zero. And yeah, so this is not FFFF zero, 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 but this is. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they literally alias, um, they probably don't set this nibble for, uh, Flash. I bet Flash is alias 16 times. I bet Flash is alias, uh, for all of these ranges. Because we know, we know that Flash is aliased at FF. Uh, we know Flash is aliased here, right? Um, and if Flash is aliased there, it's probably aliased. Doesn't look like a reset vector? Really? Really? This doesn't look like a reset vector? Well, I mean, like, the code doesn't? Um, so, I think on some ARM processors, res uh, the, the vectors are code, and on some, they're addresses. Um... Cortex M is addresses. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and one C, right? Like, yeah, look at this. Right? For the classic model, right? Look at this. Zero through one C. Um, and then, yeah, look at this. Zero, four, eight, C, 10. Nop at 14, 18, one C, right? Um, can be relocated at this, yeah. And I would guess that this is alias, so we can say uh, reset vectors here, right? I, I would imagine that it, this is probably actually at FFFF, uh, but they probably alias uh, or the, that pin is just probably not connected for flash. Um, reset vectors at, or we can say the um, vectors are at uh, this, uh, which is likely actually uh, x one two three four. Okay. So then this is this is absolutely fucking reset. Um, so that's right to some unknown thing. That's right to some unknown thing. Load a value. Um, coprocessor, coprocessor. Set something. Uh, once again, just kind of poking this value. What's this? Um, looks like that's programming some stuff. Yeah, a bunch of write volatiles. So setting things up. Setting things up. Did we go into that one? Yes, we did. 
basically nothing here has done anything that I'm worried about. Um, cause it's all just like setting up processor state and I have no idea why the back button doesn't fucking work. Um, that's a mem copy. Um, and specifically the address, uh, it is actually using an F zero FF address. Um, so we've got some mem copies going on there. So let's, let's label some of these things. Um, come on, let's go to the reset vectors, uh, F zero, we'll say this is, oh, this branches to F zero FF 0118. So this, like immediately we're actually, we're truly executing at FO. So we are now correct. So we can say this is the uh, reset vector. Done. The actual reset vector. This is a set unknown th uh, thing. This is like get unknown thing. Um, I bet that is tracking basically if it's a, a warm or cold reboot. Stuff, coproc stuff, more coproc stuff. Um, so this is going to zero out e to four f, right? So this is a mem set at e zero. So obviously that memory is writable. Don't necessarily know what's held in there. Um, it's gonna load. Uh, that's storing a value to 4C. Don't know what that is. Store something, unknown thing. Um, it's like some device shit. I don't see anything referencing RAM here. So I don't think RAM even works yet, to be honest. A uh, bunch of C0 writes. Uh... Set unknown thing again. Oops. Um, some more coproc. Let's make sure I'm going into that correctly because this is like refreshing and getting fucked. Uh, branch and link to here. Yes, I agree with that. And then that's fucked. What's going on here? This is not a function. Um, There we go. Um, we're gonna have to, I guess. All right. Um, Let's say, let's just say V7 F flash. We're just gonna say um, reset vector analysis. Uh, v is probably fine here, okay. No. Okay, now we are going to mark these as code, uh, but specifically as ARM code. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom. Okay, so 
We have only marked those things. Um, let's set flash as non-writable. Okay. Done. Analyze. Why don't you use Ida? It's really better than Gideon in case of ARM. I don't think it's better for, like, deep analysis. I mean, they're pretty fucking comparable, to be honest. Um, okay. Here we go. Yeah, it created a function again there. Why? A8. Um, what are the xrefs on this? Thunk. And who xrefs this? Who xrefs this? Mm, that looks like a soft reset. Okay. I don't know. Do we just have it not auto analyze? Let's do a. Let's do something without auto analyzing. Let's just go for the like serious. Uh, do everything manually. Okay. Okay, um, before we define anything, let's go into memory maps. Non-writable, done. Okay, mark non-writable and let's go. Uh, so these are vectors. Okay, reset vector. Uh, it's a pointer. Okay. Bam. Still think that's a fucking function. Oh, wait. Maybe it is now. Yeah. I think it's right now. Okay. Here we go. Um, so we load... Load this address. This is right. And now we can just say f create function wait. We got a branch, and that branch is out. Is it following that? I think it's just confusing here. Um. So we do a 370 and then a branch. And then we go here. Okay. Hmm. Hopefully this behaves. Um, okay, that is our first time we've seen the two address. So we don't know what that is yet. Can you push the change? All the changes are pushed. Uh, 
Like, Ida's is not really gonna help here. Like, that's not really, like, I, I. We're not really struggling with anything, to be honest. Um. Is it a Cortex M? I have no idea. Is the first entry is the stack? Uh, I don't think so. I I would imagine this is um, not a Cortex chip at all. Like it's probably not a Cortex. Would would be my guess. Um, Bixler. F1. Okay, cool. So that's the first thing that does something. So, um, don't care. Don't care. Mm, Coproc stuff. Mm, more Coproc stuff. Uh, we have a mem sets, more coproc. I don't care that these have deep names. More coproc things. We'll just keep naming these random shit. Don't really matter. Uh, sets unknown. Okay. More coproc. Okay, so this is the first thing that has meat. Two thousand. Uh, so we do a mem copy. We do a mem copy to two uh, twenty million, whatever you want to call it. Um, from here. So we just we copy this to twenty thousand or twenty million and not a hundred percent sure what this is. Uh four oh nine. Set a length, not a hundred percent sure. It seems to be like information, version strings sort of stuff. And then um, we copy for 97 hex bytes. Okay, so let's go, let's take this address. So the start of the copy, uh, and then 97 hex. Okay, so we, yeah, we copy that whole section. And then we copy from this AC0, which is directly afterwards. Um, and then we copy uh, actually, a decent amount. Um, I don't know what that is. So you copy B294 bytes. So let's verify. If we go to this. This plus B294. Yep. And that lines up exactly with the Fs. So I don't 100% know what that is. Um, okay. Um, okay. And then uh, let's see. All right. Um, start execution. I'm making notes right now. Uh, start execution at F O F F zero 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 zero. Okay. Um, copy 
OX97 bytes from uh, OXF0FF1828 to OX2123. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we copy OX B two nine four bytes from OX F O F F one A C O to OX two O O O one O O O. Okay, I'm basically making notes of everything that gets copied, and that is definitely doing a copy to there. Might be copied to tightly coupled uh, memory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's right. Uh, 97 bytes are copied here, and then B, yeah, when we look at that, it, it's not a coincidence that that immediately is where the Fs are, and this is basically gonna go to the end of Flash. Yes, there's no more data. Okay. Boom. Okay. So this is, um... Uh, in function at OX F O F F one eight five four. Okay, let's just make sure that is good. This is good. This is good. And then those addresses are correct. All right. Clear sign is flash. We we know it's flash. Yeah, we we already know it's flash. Uh, did we rename this? No. This is um, copy some flash sections to unknown memory. Good enough. Okay, and. Um, okay, we have some parameters that get passed in potentially, R0 and R1, eight, that's the size of RAM. Right? That is the size of RAM. Yeah. Um, so that that's a peculiar thing. We're gonna take R0 and R1, subtract four. That's going to the end of RAM. Oh, basically, we literally this is just, okay, well that's interesting then. That would indicate to me that that is RAM then. If we get the size of RAM and we add it with this 20, this is probably uncached RAM because we, we literally add those together. So we basically get the address of the end of RAM. So beyond RAM, we subtract four bytes and then we store, we set that as the stack. Like, so I think that might be RAM. Like tw this, this address might be aliased once again to RAM. Um, so um, I'm gonna say uh, it's literally at the end of RAM. Yeah. I don't know why they subtract the four. To be honest. Um, maybe it's for alignment. Not hundred percent sure. So <coughs> it's important to note that that is a temporary stack. Um, cool. I don't think this function takes any arguments.
I have no reason to believe this takes any arguments. Um, and I have no reason to believe it uh, returns anything either. Okay, so we do this copy. Then we go to this thunk. Ah, okay. So that doesn't exist. Um, pushing my store of value beyond RAM. I mean, it like most stacks are uh, pre indexed. Where you subtract and then store. Um, I guess it depends. It depends what kind of stack they're using. I know ARM, you can technically change it. Um, okay. So then this is jumping to 66A4. And that is going to be... Um, Don't care. Yep, that's setting something up. Then 66AC, that jumps to there. Uh, if that's not equal to 1, don't care. While. U var is less than 10. What? What? I guess it just, it's just a, I guess it just, it just copies. It just, it just copies these bytes, these 16 bytes. Okay, that must that must be really important um, to the stack. So it copies 16 bytes of the stack, and then it calls this. <laughs> uh, okay, wow, I, that must be really important early boot. Uh, <laughs> weird, weird as fuck. Um, okay, so let's do this then. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> but so that sets that up. Yeah, I wonder if that's just uncached RAM. I just don't know how many times RAM is aliased. We know RAM is at zero. Unless RAM. I mean, they put the stack at the end of RAM. At, they put the stack at. 128 megs into 20, 20 million. I feel like this must actually be RAM. So I'm, I just, I'm, I'm concerned. I don't want to fucking miss a RAM range. We know that zero to uh, eight million is RAM. We know that 18 million to 20 million is RAM. And it looks like 20 million to 28 million is also RAM. Uh, which means it's probably like every, it probably just repeats for all regions up to like fucking 40 million or something. It's really hard to say. Um, so I'm going to do some more poking quick. Copy. That's the same function. So it does the same thing. Let me call that. Um, twenty million is usually ITCM. Um, what is what is that?
Um, instruction tightly coupled memory. Hmm. Um, but like, I, I kind of doubt there's 128 megs of tightly coupled memory. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. It, it's, it's hard to say. I'm pretty, like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, usually like less than 512k. Yeah, so I, I don't think it's tightly coupled memory. Can be repeated, uh, but there can be gaps. Yeah, I, I guess my only, um, my only suspicion, right? My only suspicion is that they set the stack to 20 million plus 8 million, right? Which is 128 megs past 20 million. This printer has exactly 128 megs of RAM, right? So it's a little sus to me that it's setting the stack to the end of what could potentially be RAM, but instead it's like a couple hundred K of tightly coupled memory. Um. I think that's that's basically why I'm suspect that that is not the case. I, th that is my only evidence, right? I, I don't have strong evidence, but um. Oh, here's the here's twenty thousand. Hey, this is the shit, dude. This is where we were before. We know this. We were actually like pretty pretty close. Um, cool. Yeah, I, that's the only reason I'm sus, right? We also know that RAM is repeated at 0 and 18 uh, million. So we know at 0 and 18 million, we have 128 megs of RAM. That's aliased. So uh, we also know that the flash is at F0, but the reset vector is probably at FF. So flash is probably repeated 16 times from F0 to FF. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if RAM is literally fucking repeated. Well, not necessarily repeated. Well, repeated in practice, but it's probably just literally the, those lines, those address lines are just not used. Uh, and it's like, what do we know? We, we know that C0 is like some dram -y sort of shit. Uh, and what else can we prove? I think, did we see eights? We see E's. Um, these don't cares right to ease. So we've seen C's, we've seen E's. And I, I would hazard that C and E are probably the same. C is probably like a, a, like a write through and an E is probably an uncashable or vice versa. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if RAM is just literally repeated until C zero. It, it's hard to say, right? It, it's like... I don't know a great way to uh, figure that out, except for randomly coming across it and then like, oh shit, they use this. But we know that they actively use 18 and zero to access RAM. Um, and those line up. But yeah, this is where they set up the stack, right? They, they load 20 million hex and then they load this, which is 8 million. And then they just, they add them together, subtract four, and store that as the stack. And that's why, like, it just seems too perfect uh, for that to not just be the end of RAM. Um, so copy those things. We should figure out what those do. Because those could be interesting. And then this. So that's the 20,000 thing that we kind of know and love. More coprocessor shit. Uh, is that actually a Bixler? Yes, literally an op. Uh, coprocessor. Um, 
This is a uh, from vectors. She said, "F uh, okay." Until there. Um. What? Well, it's less than that. Plus one. It is. This is a checksum. It's a. Uh, it's summing up all of the bytes. It's a checksum. If it's equal to zero, then do this in return. Otherwise, loop forever. Is this a true loop forever? Yes, it is. That is an E7FE or an F7, yeah, E7FE, right? Uh, this is a checksum. Cool. And that, my friends, would explain why there's an OA here. That is to fix the, the checksum. Nice. Okay. Um, a checksum is done on. O X F O F F zero 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 two O X F one O O O O O O, where uh, all bytes are summed uh, with a wrapping add. Um, at the end, it is expected that the uh, eight bit checksum results in a zero. If it is not a zero, the processor infinitely loops. Um, this checksum is implemented in OXF02809F8. Right. Um, definitely a checksum, right? From the vectors until there. It's it's a it's a hundred percent a checksum. If it matches, then it goes to here. It then sets that e this four c ten. I think that's like boot status, boot code, something like that. Um, load that and then set some RAM. Uh, okay, it's clearly a checksum. Uh, like checksum last. Uh, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Um, C stuff, C stuff, nothing, E stuff, ooh, checksum. Maybe? Love the love this time for stream. Gives me uh, something to look uh, while doing boring sex stuff. Hell yeah. So what is this doing? This is going through each power of two and setting PC var to C var three. What? It's like it's counting the number of power. It's like it's counting the. It's, yeah, it's like it's counting the the PC var two is uh, one. Like that's a constant. That's a constant. That's a constant. That's a pointer. Store R two. R two is zero. No, R2 gets R1. This is... <laughs> uh, 
Um. So this writes a two to address one. Is this just like touching all of memory? If reset is equal to one, this is testing memory. This is testing to see if memory persists a value, right? 100% that's what this do is doing, is it not? Um, that's the length of memory, right? 80 million, or sorry, 8 million. That's the length of memory. This is writing a value to memory, and then it is going to check to see that those values in memory persist. This is basically mem check, right? This is a really shitty mem check. Um... So we should be able to know that um, haven't things been like okay this is E stuff it's copying some stuff between E stuff I'm Hasn't stuff been loaded into RAM? Like, I feel like before this point, stuff has been loaded into RAM. This is just gonna, like, clobber it. I guess maybe this is, like, shutdown stuff, to be honest. Uh Okay, that's just just counting to a hundred. It's just delay, right? This is just delay one hundred. Um Okay. Uh loop a true infinite loop gated on a okay so this what is it what is this is this just testing that uh, the accumulator works that you're able to add numbers because it it looks like this just returns one is this just testing that you can add numbers Um, store to R0. Wait, why don't I see the store? Why don't I see that store? This is just like basically writing shit to memory. Once again, this is another like mem check, right? I think these are like all mem checks, mem tests. Yeah. This basically writes a value to those stri like it's it's just a lot it, these are just mem checks. Yep. Yep. Okay. Like, like lots of mem tests. Okay, what do we got going on now?
Uh, are we writing to any memory here? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. If var2 is less than this, which it isn't, otherwise var2 is var1. I think these are just all fucking like memory checks. Coprocessor stuff. Coprocessor stuff. Set some shit. Okay. Okay. Uh. Bunch of C stores. I think E and C are probably ROM. Or, sorry, uh, probably MMIO space. This is the thing that I am curious about right here. S interesting stuff. Okay, so this, look at this bad boy, F1281000, this is some decompression into, it is storing uh, into param2, which is zero. This is like, this is initializing FE5B20 bytes of... Is this seriously initializing FE5B20 bytes of, uh, this is like decompressing this into RAM. Which would then be theoretically decompressing on top of things. So then what does it do here? Um, flush caches. Because where did it decompress this shit to? Three six C three one eight. What is this going to decompress? Fe five, and that's like higher than anything we've had, right? So our RAM, right? The RAM that we know about. Uh, okay, here. The RAM that we know about is, um, we know RAM to 36C, and that is the memory which is, um, this is the gzipped things. So this is what gets, uh, gzip decompressed. Um, that's the gzip decompress payload. We have the, um, some copy. That is the copy that we see pretty early on in the bootloader. And then the RLE block, this is to five, uh, or, yeah, five zero six. So I'm really confused because it looks as if this is going to decompress basically well beyond that in RAM. Pram 3, Pram 2 is the basically the output. Pram 2 plus 3 is the length, and it's going to do this decompression uh, for that entire size. And I feel like that's just going to overwrite shit.
And that's why I'm so confused because they we, like uh, this is doing some MMIO stuff. I'm just gonna say that um, we're gonna say that there's a region from C that is three one two three one two three four. Uh, it is read write and volatile, and we're gonna say this is MMIO. Right, so this should map basically everything until F. So C to C to F is all MMIO RW volatile space, and hopefully this will help with uh, how some of these things look. Yeah, so now we see write volatiles, and now it's not confused um, that these code that this code infinitely loops. So. Um, I'm just really confused because we know there's gzip stuff, right? And it, it's really confusing to me because this, um, uh, those are the copies. That's another copy. Didn't we see the call to the uh, 200,000 stuff that we reversed out previously? It was like pretty early. Maybe we clicked on the wrong thing. What confused you have multiple decompression strategies? Yeah, I mean, I thought we decompressed to RAM. Um, we technically don't know what those things do, and that, that might be important. Um, like, I thought, I thought I saw the stuff, right, that, that jumped to the 2000 that we have done before, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Where, where was that? This is the actual reset vector, right? I'm not fucking up there. Yes, LDR, this is actually the reset vector. It was here. Don't care. More coproc. More coproc. Bunch of volatile. What the fuck was that? Uh, maybe it was fucked up when we didn't have the volatile memory and it like basically had a function boundary wrong. It's in one of the unlabeled. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, it would make sense if it's not here, right? Like, maybe I fucking click something or, like, the back button got fucked up and I ended up seeing something because it truly does not make sense that that would happen and then we would decompress over it. Here it is. Oh, um, okay, so this is like the, uh, known gzip and continue stuff. This is conditional though. Local 18, it is zero. If it's not equal to 55 and ivar one is three. Um, so now that thing kind of matters. Uh, 
I'm going to imagine that this is like a hot reboot. I think there's like a base image. And I'll be curious if we go and rerun that code. So there's both of these potentially... That, that's, that's my current hypothesis. On a cold boot... Yeah, like on a cold boot, we go through all the memory tests and all of this shit. Uh, program a bunch more like MMIO things. And then we uh, load the like initial blob of RAM. And then when we go to reboot, if it's a hot reboot, then we just like unpack the kernel again and run. That that's that's my current theory. Now the other theory is that like it's reading a decompression mode. Um, but given it's reading those from kind of that weird area, but let's see. Uh, we'll say that this like potentially uh, gzip stuff. But that is my current theory, because the mem check stuff, like the checksums, I feel like are not very optional, and I don't think this like really returns. Like when we looked into that, it, it didn't really want to return. So the big thing is, does this, uh, what was this here? Okay, that's just some volatile rates. So the question is, does this decompression actually work? And if this decompression actually works, then um, does it produce the exact the size that we expect? And if it does, then does it contain interesting things? So let's do it. Um, Okay, uh, so this is the basically the source, dest, and len, right? Uh... Oh. So, uh, what we're going to do is then call this the source is going to be the firmware plus OX um, to eight this. Two eight one, and what is this? Two eight one zero zero zero, uh, two point six megs. Where's my entropy at? Um. Uh. Two six two five. Two six. My cursor's at two six two five. We understand this peak. We understand the thing before. So it's gzip, RLE, and then this. We're finally seeing this blob. This might have like the fucking CGI and stuff in it. Fuck ya. Yeah. Um. I think it's dest. Uh, uh, buff. And then... I guess... Yeah, that is the length decompressed. Which is pretty big, right? 5 FE 20? That's 16 megs! We're about to decompress 16 megs! Chat! Holy shit! 
decompress the uh, payload from um, I think this is the this is everything this is literally um, uh, implemented at this okay if not unknown blob and this will be like a uh, decompressed uh, large. Well, this is going to make a lot of fucking sense now. Um, Um, nah, something like that. And let's do the same thing here. Um, pram one. Honestly, I have no idea how that's being processed. Two, two bh, two bh. I have no fucking idea how that is being processed. Um, I guess pram one is getting updated. Uh, byte ridge pram1 is equal to pram1. Uh, printf red uh, ox percent x compressed bytes uh, for... Okay, we'll just do this. Um, ridge pram1 minus pram... Pram1. Wow! And that is from, uh, what's the base address? 281? 281 plus this. And this is 11.6 megs. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, 116. 116? 116! Okay, we're decompressing that whole thing. Okay, so we understand this, this tiny little peak, this whole blob, um, the stuff at the start. This is, this is gonna have, like, the CGI data, I think. What the fuck was this? Did we figure out what this was? Did we figure out what these two were? I think maybe we did. Oh, this is like the reset stuff. And this is uh, some other shit. <laughs> um, sick. Uh, decompress large. Oh yeah, and let's, uh, let's do the actual math here. So we do uh, 281000. This is the start of something we decompress um, right here. And perfect. It is on a new region. And this runs from there to 88F976 is what we decompress. I expect two zeros and then Fs. Yes, as the whole region. The whole fucking region. So we definitely are decompressing that perfectly. Okay, uh, my confidence is very high now on that. Decompressed large vim dash. So some of these things might not just be the files just slammed out. Um, 
but I suspect this is gonna have everything in here. Yeah, this is gonna have. This is literally gonna have everything. Oh, CGI. We've never seen that many CGI references. This is everything. This is it. It's game over. We did it. Fucking did it. I don't know what those t other two spikes are. Oh my god, do I see C++? Ooh, WS Fax Protocol. Oh, baby. Let's fucking go. Thank you, uh, Repasith. <laughs> Reparasi. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Hell yeah. Um, that's fucking huge. Okay. So, we know. Um, God, we're so fucking good, chat. Uh, 280? What's that 280? We don't know. But we know that 281. Sorry. Um, OX FO 260. Yep. That's a bookend there. That runs until 280. Um, which is then some, something. Uh, code unknown. And then if we go, this is pretty short. So by 281, we should have Fs. There's the Fs, and then here's 281. So this. Oh, is that the decompression routine? Two eighty eight eighty. Right before. This is the decompression routine for the subsequent payload. Okay. Uh, uh, code decompression routines for um, OX28100, right? Two eight one. Oops. And that runs from two eight one to uh, I guess we have the math in here. Okay, maybe not. F O two eight one plus eight eight F nine seven six, and this will run us to the end here. And we can just, I guess, that's just that's just the end of that high entropy. Uh, there. So we'll say OX or zero zero. I guess B one one o. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll just say B one o nine seven six. High entropy. Um, compressed payload. Uh, decomp at. This. Yeah. Decompress at this. Um, uh, use decompress arly.c. Okay. And then we have uh, OOB10976. Uh, until when? It's pretty deep. It's just all Fs for a long time, isn't it? Um. Yeah, I guess. Let's look at entropy. It's all Fs. 
I would hazard it's all Fs until this ballpark. So we can say uh, one point, we'll say uh, one point three one O E seven. Okay. So this is somewhere in the ballpark of F zero C seven E three E zero. Um, we probably undershot. It's probably at eight. It's probably when the change happens. Nope. There it is. Okay. Um, empty, uh, filled with FFs, unused uh, flash. Okay, and then we hit entropy, and what's in here? Do we know? I don't know if we know what's in here. Please advise books for reverse engineering. I'm not aware of any. I haven't read any reverse engineering books. Okay, um, I don't know if that's code or not, to be honest. But let's go, let's find the end of that section. Uh, let's just look at my cursor, like, here. We'll just say, uh, 1.32365 E7 converts, okay, FOC9, F914. And then we're probably pretty close to the end here. Okay, it looks like one more. Page. Okay, maybe not. There we go. And is that a clean ending? No, it's not. Okay, so I'm unsure what that is. Um, C81, oh, 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 CA, uh, unknown. Eh, we'll say high entropy. Is it high entropy? Yeah, it's high entropy. Uh, unknown. Maybe code. Okay, and then we have uh, zeros for a while. How did you learn? Just by just by doing stuff. Okay, so we should have Fs for a long time now. And then the next stuff that we have is um, in this ballpark here. Let's just try and zoom that as much as we can. This is to the end of RAM. 1.671. Oops, 1.671 E7, that's, go to FO, FE, F970, and there it is, that's reset vectors, okay, um, OOCA2198 to this, uh, empty, filled with Fs, unused flash. Then we have this to uh, F O F, eh, whatever. Um, low entropy, and this is uh, reset vectors uh, and boot code. Is that everything? So we have a low entropy region. We don't necessarily know what that's used for. Uh, we have the initial uh, bootstrap gzip stuff, which we don't actually know if that's going to get loaded or not. Um, well, we can see. This is good. This is good. This is a good chat. The last better check some. It probably is. Probably is. Yeah, there are a couple checksums that got performed. So... I'm not going to go to that level of detail. Um, so, we know that we have this massive blob. Let's see what happens when we load that up. Because that gets loaded to zero, right? Um, this... Uh, little arm v7. It's loaded at zero, right? 
F uh, FE 5B20, and that should just get loaded straight to zero. Uh, there's probably going to be references to the 18 range and stuff. Oh, it's got reset vectors. Does it just have everything? No. No, this doesn't just have everything, does it? It has reset vectors. Those point to code. Maybe this just has everything. Maybe I don't need the gzip stuff. I don't know what the gzip stuff is for. Maybe it's like a weird preboot environment. I don't. Mm. Like. Like, there seems to be good code in here. I, I just don't know if I need to overlay the gzip on this. Um, oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, look at this! Got all the good shit! <laughs> Woo! I'm very confused if I need to actually overlay any of that gzip data. Like, I'm, I'm so confused. Like, it'd be awesome if I don't need to. So, okay, let's take a look-see, let's grab this, all right, load PC20, do they start with the same thing? Yeah, uh, PC2616, oh, that's not even filled in. I, I don't know. I don't, um, okay, so let's find some other shit in here. Let's, like, go to this address, right? Uh, T, T FIFO don't work or some shit? Oh, that's code. I think this just might be the be-all, end-all. Um, because there's code here. What the fuck? I don't know. I mean, this just looks like the bee's knees. <laughs> oh, look at that, a little printer. I have no idea if I need to overlay that. I'm like, just pretty happy with this. Look at these, they have x -refs! Oh my God, there's x -refs! I wonder if one's like the original firmware. Maybe the other one is like diffs or patches or the firmware updates. But these um, 
translations. So what if, what's our loaded map look like? Three, like there is nothing, like that RLE block, all of these things, there's nothing that we have found in the other decompression path um, that isn't covered by the range of memory that has been loaded here, right? Like it, this is a super set. It, it literally has everything that the other thing had and more. So I'm really curious if we even need those. Like the, this clearly has like reset vectors. Um, it has a lot more like content and images. Xrefs are probably gonna come up a lot better. Like, yeah, look at these. These things have these things have fucking Xrefs to these like tables, and then this table. There's probably like an Xref to the table or some shit. Alright. Uh and somewhere in here, there's probably like this is probably like translation code in it, like dynamically uh, picks those things. So yeah, I'm very confused because there's definitely valid gzip data in there. And there's the other RLE table, and maybe this is the original firmware, and the other stuff is like firmware updates, and I, I need to apply them, and that basically makes deltas. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> there's not a great way to check. I guess we'll see if we can find like version information. I want to let this analyze. Memory map. I don't know if this memory should be marked as writable, to be honest. Oh my god, look, an XREF! We have XREFs! Alright, let's look for some strings. I, I can't wait any longer. Um... Um, Fopen, yeah, stat, display TCP state. Okay, there, uh, no extras to here yet, but honestly, we might e not even be close uh, to having this analyzed. Um... I also don't know if I need to set the 18 alias ranges. I don't, we don't have a lot of shit mapped in here. Let's just look for like version. Um. Yeah, like look at these XRefs. Oh man, look at this, we got strings. Unreal, firmware version.cgi, RUI firm version.cgi. This is the, this is the handler for that. Is this the CGI? Is this the compiled CGI for that form? Oh, baby! Oh, you... You got the code I need. You said you're just an Ode. We're gonna find some good Ode. Oh, baby, you... Percent S, baby, let's fucking go. This is literally the response. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Easy clap. 
It's funny because this is actually so much easier than the other shit we did. <laughs> but we did get to do the copy paste Ghidra code. I'm telling you, man, it's so good. We did that, what, twice today? It's so good. It, like, I don't know how many people do that, but for decompression shit, like that sort of stuff, mwah, perfect. All right, let's see. Latest version four. And let's see, local 30 is Owstack 36, uh, which is coming from this data, which is 1D5C. Hmm. Uh, data this. Plus 1D8. What is that? Oh, that's calling something. That's doing some weird shit. 1D5C. It's probably something that got initialized. Um, I'm, I'm curious if that 4.0 is somewhere. I, I wish it was just right there, but oh my god. Well, that's pretty cool. Firmware update.cgi. Okay, okay. <laughs> From update. <laughs> uh, let's not call that one yet. <laughs> just in case it, like, just does shit. Firm, firm, firm data.cgi. In before this just dumps it. BSD state 4. Hmm? Okay. PR get. Mm, P. Mmm, display DWS. I don't know what that means. Um, okay. PR Reggie registration. I feel like we can just win here. Get firmware update status. Oh my god, we've got so much cool stuff. One. Cool. Job status certification is locked. JS model. I J C P C delete. So cash control no store. Is that making the headers? Hmm. Hmm. Like, I don't know how I pass in parameters to these. I would suspect some of these will expect a parameterinos. Um, UT data, UT nozzle check, deep clean, roller. Uploader, yeah, like this sort of stuff, right? Like this, this is probably gonna give us an error. Oh, that redirects to index. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's got some logic. Let's do this. Um, non writable content type file O one, file O two, password, upload error, passphrase, upload error file. Can you do minimum if you update upload their certificate? I don't know, probably. <laughs> I have, I wouldn't be surprised if there aren't a couple ways to compromise this. I'm trying to find like something really straightforward. I want like a CGI echo, right?
Wi-Fi direct set. Create CSR. Upload PKCS. Upload dir. It's a dummy, dummy job. D dummy post, dummy get. What's a what's a what's dummy post? Okay. Seems to be kind of the same code ish. Unfortunately, those function pointers are going to make this a bitch. Is that all the CGI? Get use record. Oh, is this new stuff? Get LAN setting info. Maybe it expects a. Okay. Nice. Um. I wonder, like, how much CGI there is. Um, not CGI. Firmware verify. Okay, I think we had most. There's, like, this fax service. Use record access counts. A bunch of strings there. Delete, and then that's ref here. This is a delete. Um, DREF one D five C. Yeah, and that's gonna be some like. That's gonna be kind of initialized at runtime. So honestly, the CGI stuff might be relatively difficult. Um, unfortunately, just because a lot of this stuff is going to be kind of hard to track down uh, without having an active memory dump, because these are probably like VF tables, right? They probably set up these like VF table-y things, and it's going to be really hard to just know kind of what's going on. Um, obviously, that code exists somewhere in here. Uh, but it's hard to say where that's actually getting handled, right? And if we don't know where that's getting handled, then that's going to be very difficult for us. Um, 1D. Well, is that just... Uh, what's 1D, 5C, 1040, minus 18... Okay, um, too many zeros? No. Yeah, so I was curious if, um, basically, if we had 1.8 alias. But it's out of range of that. It's something in, like, yeah. It, it, that's, like, in RAM. So some, something sets this, right? Something kind of programs in these values. So a lot of things reference this. Percent D, local 28, local 1C. Um, Reggie. I want something that echoes. If I can get something that echoes, then I can probably figure out, like, okay, so we're getting HTTP error, response, page, we get that, and then we don't get registered, we get error disp state. And this is probably due to parameters. 
So this is expecting something. Um, but I don't know what it wants as a post. But I think that local 28 is actually the like value that I post, which is interesting, because that would give us an echo, which would be nice. Um, it's really tough, man. Like. Registered. Hmm. Ah, it's Google Cl Cloud? I, I don't know. App data? What's app data.cgi? All right, let's, uh, let's look for strings that really stand out. Let's look for uh, accept now. Um, here's accept. Okay. Xrefs on accept now. Uh, not too many. Uh, we have the test, the V6 coding test. We have two tests, and then we have the wrapper. And hopefully we don't have the same shit that happened last time. Okay, another wrapper. Enter accept. Okay, it's http.c. Uh, okay, let's see what we have here. Accept. Set receive timeout. Find same sock session. This seems like some generic y mm, voodoo do socket stuff. Um, I guess maybe bind. Bind error, no xrefs. Bind return, xref, socket, we have a test. Well, uh, who, who, who triggers these tests? I think these just might not be plugged into anything. Uh, sysbind, reft, this is bind. Okay, xrefs. Honestly, receive is probably a better location. Uh, test. This is test. Test. Debug log start. Um, not sure. And then this is a wrapper on bind. A lot of calls to this. WSD soap over UDP. Called a bind uh, wrapper. Oh boy, are these all in the same thing? Lots of binds in that same function. WC soap over UDP. Uh, here's one in a different thing. Same thing, soap over UDP. This is in a different region of code. Uh, it looks like we got another wrapper here. Refs, we got a couple refs. Enter bind IF sockets, KSHTTP. SSL wrapper, MDNS itron, MDNS itron. Soap over UDP. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with a little bit of a little bit of soap? Let's maybe look at uh, Rec V. Oh, I'm curious if these ended up getting refs. These like debug commands. No, it doesn't look like it. They might just not, they might not be like in.
These look like fun things. I, I want to do all these things. They look so fun. Um... What's ping? Ping received from, what's this? Oh, well this is just receive, okay. Well, we'll just go from here. Um, a wrapped receive, okay. So we go to here. Okay, we got a couple receives. BJNP TCP. Bon bonjour. HTTP client common, client common. LPD, send request soft reset error. Mm, not sure what that is. WSD, D, my HTTP client. Sick. Um, Netsys, HTTP client gets. This is the biggest outlier here, is the, uh, while Ivor2 is not equal to zero, this is probably like receive command, if receive failed, we have a problem, and this is like, I don't know, like, receive success message, something like that, um, this is receive, right? So we receive a thing, and then what do we return? If Ivar is zero break, this is read till EOF. Uh, read into local 2C, which is this parameter. Um, param 3. I guess that's the size. Subtract off what we read. So this will basically read until a this will read until a buffer is full, or, and this actually increments. Wow, it actually increments. So this is, this is receive all, kind of. Um. Okay, so we receive some shit into uh, what? Local 2C, Prem 2, Prem 2. Um, so we receive into P of R6, which is I of R4, which is this dereft, it's some like storage buffer. And then what do we do with that? And cat. I would hazard that this is probably going to handle read the parameter. This is mem copy. The mem copy. Might be mem copy. Um, let's imagine that does a mem copy into here. We call an F. Dude, the C four. C D four. Hmm. Hmm. Hard to say. Receive. Oh, this I like. This I like. 
Um, while true. Okay. We received to prim on plus 20. Okay, let's just do this. Um, this is like uh, receive, receive buffer. If it's not equal to 10, um, this is bytes read. Receive IVAR uh, prim 3 requested minus IVAR 2. Uh, buffer, so this is the buffer size. Or sorry, buffer size. Okay, yeah, it reads byte, bytes read. Prim 5 is, I guess, the size of the last receive. Okay. So this is a uh, total red. If the total red is not equal to 10, if the last receive was less than zero, then uh, I don't know, probably some error. Um, if it's equal to zero, then this is probably like kill the connection. And then this is, um, Um, I guess, is that an Indian swap? If it's equal to this, that is that BJNP or some shit? Receive buffer 8200, whoa. Receive buffer. Yeah, I think that's byte swap, isn't it? Definitely that's byte swap. This is a byte swap. And we can say b swap 32. Um so we pass that in. Okay. And then we if it's equal to that then break. Okay. So then that would break out of this, which would then invoke uh, some like handler for it. Okay. Otherwise it will, what is this gonna do? Like byte swap all the fields or something? I bet that's gonna byte swap all the fields of the command. That's gonna be my guess. It's probably like go through the. Oh, that's send. That's okay. Uh, send. Send. Okay. So I guess we send 10 bytes. If we send 10 bytes to one of these fucking things and it's not equal to a specific value, we might get a response back. Oh yeah, I don't want to look up the protocol. Um, Python import socket socket dot um, TCP connect. What is it? The fuck is it again? Um, hmm. Uh, vim, uh, bjnp.py, import socket. I thought you could do like everything in one. But maybe not. Sock is socket socket uh, from socket import star. Okay, we'll just do socket afi net sock stream sock connect um one ninety two one six eight dot something dot something. 
It's like 631 was one of the ports. I don't know if that was this one or the other one. S dot send B A times 10 print S dot receive 1024. Okay. Okay, maybe it was the other port. <laughs> um, what fucking port is it? Port. 8611? What? That wasn't open. Uh, actually, I don't think... The oh, connection refused, yeah. Um, mm, yeah, let's just nmap VA. nmap might not scan enough ports. There's five, 515 was one of them. No. Six thirty one. No. Let me see. Uh, P zero. Let's see if I can scan all the ports. Um, all right, we're scanning, we're scanning all the ports, we're hacking. Why am I sending 10 bytes and not 10 hex bytes? Sick. Um, 5.15. It's not those though. It's not equal to 10. I mean, this could be deeper in the protocol on some different phase, to be honest. Yeah, only... Uh, if it is 515, it's not comms and on it. At least this isn't. All right, let's look at the. Um. I still haven't found an oracle that like shows me where I actually have hit code. Where's my xrefs? Oh, they're on another monitor. No xrefs to this. It's BJNP, yeah. Um. Hmm. I think it's just not running. Send for a BJNP will not work. We have looked at that. It needs 16 bytes. Um, I 
Okay, so what we can do is just spam this with shit. Uh, why don't you? Um. Just, I'm just, I'm just curious. Oops. Is it sys.random? Oh, or is it you random? OS.u random. Ah, broken pipe. Okay. Okay. I, I like that. All right. Um. How do I set non-blocking? Sock set blocking false fucking capital letters in this shit language. Um, print sock dot receive mm, sixteen. Let's just see if it ever. Okay. Ah. You Is it talking? Is it, is it talking? Is it here? Is it here to chat? Shit. Well, shit. Uh, what about the six thirty one? Okay. I, I I don't know. That just might be empty. Um. Let's do uh one to thirty two. I don't know, that's giving some zeros back, which is some zero length payloads, which is kind of interesting. Unless Python has some like weird things where it's, I, I don't know if Python will return an empty buffer on a close, or if they'll actually like raise a closed, uh, connection or something like that. Empty on EOF? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I also have non-block, I don't know what fucking Python does. I would imagine it would raise. I don't know if those are the case, to be honest. Um, Hmm. Hard to say. Um. Uh, 
I mean, the connection is definitely being closed. Like, I know that's happening. That's why I keep restarting it. Uh, huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see if uh, there's any UDP stuff on this. There's probably, there's probably some UDP stuff. I'm wondering if you need to knock... Uh, DHCP client, uh, ISA KMP, uh, WS Discovery, and 3702. ISA KMP, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, IPSec, yeah. Um,. Um, find a receive from receive from uh, come on, there we go. Boom. One XRF, a wrapper, well, and a couple XRFs here. BJMP UDP, nothing listening on that. WSD soap, oh yeah, that's WSD discovery, uh, or WS discovery. So we should be able to hit that. Um, and it looks like these are all the same, and then there's one that kind of stands out. This one looks like another layer of wrapping. MDNS. So this is going to be probably when it actually beacons out, when it actually goes to send a request. Um, God, they have like a fucking hodgepodge of code in here. Holy shit. Um, a couple different places for WS. So receive start. Receive start. DRF param 2. That's a receive. If it's equal to negative 1, different packets. Well, I guess, is this a state machine here? Local 24 on initialized. Um, this must be a structure. Someone's going to pass a reference to one of these to something, I think. Maybe this is a big structure. Mm, that's the return value. Okay. Local 24. Um, where the fuck does that get set? Minus 24. Um, R1 SP, this function call here, AU stack 40. Yeah, that, that's a structure. This is going to initialize that structure. Okay, I'm just going to assume that all of this is one structure, probably. Local 18, 
is used independently. 1C is as well. But 20... Eh, 20 is as well. Yeah, I guess this is probably just bundled into there, to be honest. It's probably what's going on there. Um... I don't know how well uh, Gita works with changing the um, these locals. I guess I have to commit. What? Oh, can I not change these? Really? Say int for now. The fuck? Dude, that makes no sense. I can change that and this. But these ones I can't. Do I just need to name it? No, I can't name it. I can retype it here? But I can't retype it up there? What the fuck? Um... That's weird. <laughs> and did that fuck up all of these now? Yeah, I think it did. Ah, uh, yeah. Gidra's really bad with stack. Really, Ida is the only tool that does stack pretty well, to be honest. Um. So I'm going to assume that initialize that. Prem to read into there. Like uh, receive from. Um, prem 1 plus 35. Oh, that's mem setting. Uh, yeah, so prem 1 plus 35. It mem sets that. This is, this is mem set, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's mem set. Um, so that's zeroing out the uh, parameter, and then local one C is the size of that structure, right? So the sock sock address and the sock address length. Uh, if it's equal to negative one, then whatever is this gonna send something? Set peer address, okay. Um, local 18 is a one. Receive handle error. Let's get error. Prem one. Uh, so it reads in that buffer, it must be prim2. Is this alec? This is like alec traced. Um... OX nineteen twenty eight BEFC minus OX eighteen. Nope. Okay. I wonder if that is the heap. Um, if it's equal to zero, then we have a problem. Is that the size of the buffer? Is this, uh, what's 302? Is that like, uh, like 1520 or some shit? 
770. That seems like a reasonable size. And then param 3. I guess... Is this just going to receive some soap shit? Like, is this just going to go up? Hmm, uh, that's a VF table. Oh, boy. Oh, it's actually C++. Son of a bitch. Yep. Yeah, so this is going to be probably a constructor, and it's probably going to be setting up that VF table. Oh, gross. Mm, gross. Gross. Close error, close OK. Huh. Yeah, it's definitely C++. Open sockets. WLAN. Set sock opt, bind. So I guess this is a uh, bind. Maybe not. Yeah, it's probably bind. Yeah, it's bind. Um. If it's not an error, then it calls this, and then binds again. So it binds to a couple different ports, I guess. You stack 56. Oh, it's probably binding. Um, this is, yeah, this is going to be binding. Um, yep, 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 yep. This is probably get uh, address info. Get. Uh, and it's probably binding the v6 and the v4 separate. Be the guess. So this is probably get address info, I would imagine. I don't know where it's going to bubble into. Um, there might also be like DNS resolution in here. Hard to say. These actually seem to be doing the same thing. Um, hmm. Not 100% sure, but that is what I would imagine those things are doing. Unless they're uh, prim 1 plus 34. Yeah, it's the they use the same location. I guess I'm looking for this is what I want. Uh, mem sets. One C. Um. Is this on connecting out? Is this client side? Um, because it seems like it's just binding to any available ports and interface. Unless I'm reading that wrong, but that's going to be, like, this is a, a sock adder, right? Um, Rust is really, uh, sorry, uh, Ghidra is really bad with unions, which makes that a pain in the ass. But, so it's binding on a couple of these different sockets, and it's probably socketing... Binds. Yeah, it'll definitely be making uh, probably an IPv. F yeah, this is probably an IPv4 uh, dgram. It's probably an IPv6 dgram. And then this is probably in a VF table. Right? Yes, it is. Mm, gross. <laughs> mm, gross. Uh, this is just, I guess, um, can I make a new namespace for this? Uh, 
can just do that. Kind of curious what this looks like in Ghidra when I go this way. Um, open. So this is probably the constructor. Mm, those are pretty close. It's close, right? So... Okay, yeah, that actually creates the namespace. That's pretty cool. Um, no idea what that does. Okay, this is uh, WC soap over UDP, abort request. I fucking hate reversing uh, C, uh, C++, to be honest. Kind of fucking sucks. Uh, Wow, is this this is definitely code F12. Yeah. Um, more specifically, it's a function. Okay, WSD soap over UDP send. Start. I think this is... Oh, this is receive. Yeah, there's the receive start. Okay. Um, discovery. Do action, or do response. Huh. Cancel. Oh, this is this is soap over UDP. Oh, this is a this is an interesting one. It's not WSD soap over UDP. Oh, I wonder if this is these are gonna be soap over UDP as well. No. Nope. Weird. Cover soap message. Cool. I didn't want to put a quote in there. There we go. Um, bink, bink, bink. No idea what that is. All that. Oh, is that a recursion? Can you nest these structures? Fucking gross. Um. It's a BL. That is probably getting the VF table. What well, would be plus four on that VF table? Let's take a look at that. If you get that VF table, I guess plus four is this. Uh, I don't know if that's it. Oh, is that plus four on an int though? In which case, that'd be close. I don't know if that's the case, to be honest. Um, more of these. There's more soapage going on here. Open. Close. Same thing. Abort request. Yeah, so this is like... Start, recover, yup. 
Yep. So it is some basically generic interface. Same thing here. Update types. Update resolved child. Gross. 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 Got another one. Yeah, we have a couple things that have these VF tables. I don't know if these are nested VF tables in this case or not. Um, it's hard to it's hard to go bottom up on C++. You kind of have to go top down from where things start. Um, addressing API. Yeah, I. God, there's gonna be a lot of shit in here. I really wish I could find where the 631s are. That like port, that bind. Because I have no idea what that does. Um. I'm just curious if maybe not enough code has been uncovered yet. Unless it's one of these tests, and I've just been thrown off by the fact that it says test, and it's not a fucking test. But... And this is binding to... Well, that's the IP. Um... So what we could do is we could just basically say... Uh, so that's a B0, right? Um, and then size of his, yeah. So this is, uh, let's see if uh, we actually have this type for it. Uh, sock adder. Let's say sock adder in. I don't think it's an in six. It's definitely an in. Port. Yeah. And then sin adder. Yep. Um... Definitely not that. Bind B0. Uh, this looks like get adder info. No, that's a mem copy. Mem copying to the stack of that. This is get address info. But this is another test. Yeah. And it's, it's definitely a fucking test. Um, oh, that's interesting. It's setting kind of all of the things at the same time in one swoop. Man, they like had a lot of fucking different compilers or something here. Oh, actually, is that the IP? No, I don't think so. I feel like they're setting... See, I have no idea what they're doing there. Weird. Um, then that's the bind wrapper. We can look at this one. We have a couple more xrefs here. Bind, stack, and family, and then this is something. I, have, I don't know what these things are. What are these? Um, Pram 1, is that the port? Mm, that would make little... Oh, D0. 208. Uh, D0, oh, oh. Hmm. Pram 1. Well, 
That seems weird. Uh, yeah, load... Oh, no, that is derefing this. Sorry, I'm being stupid. Param 1 plus 34. But this is definitely the soap stuff, so we don't really care about that. Um, we're going to find... Something that isn't soap-related. Um... God, there's like all but this bind is soap. And then this actually has a couple refs. Okay, IF sockets. Aw. So this is like, yeah. This is like bind with the source line or some shit, kind of. Uh, and it's pram one, pram two. Okay, so we have a sock adder. Let's just say you stack. So this is a mem set. Yep. Local to be. Uh, Ustack 44. I guess we'll just type this. Ustack 44 as sock adder in. Sin port. This is going to be an H tons. Is that just, is this literally just H tons? What, what's the, what are these fucking calls for? Just for fun? So they don't do anything. Maybe they're like logging? I think that's just H, I, I, I think that's just H tons. Like, This is a port. And then, is this the address? No, that's some other structure-y thingy. Um, leave bind. Iosaka.cpp. So, set the ports in family. Oh, I guess it's binding to everything. So this is a uh, this is like bind to a port on all interfaces, right? So let's see if anyone uses this one caller. Ah, two seventy seven, six hundred thirty one. Woo! Uh, bind to port six hundred thirty one. Some fucking this pointer. And that's the return value. We already have the, okay. Cool, if it's less than zero, then let's see. I'm guessing it returns zero on success. Uvar is bind with source line, and yes. Okay, um, so if it was successful, then we call this lit. Listen, listen, cool, cool. Uh, listen. Okay, and then we can uh, do this. This is a, um, the socket. Okay, um, close, sick. Say this. Um, open? Is that actually open or is that just going to call socket? Yeah, this is socket. Yep. Um... Okay. Okay. Um, 
prem one. This socket is UVAR two. It's kind of weird. UVAR two. Set that to param one. I feel like that's supposed to be an address. Uh, prem one. Oh, yeah, that's like a this. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm still going to leave it as socket because it, it kind of makes sense. It's, it's a wrapper. Um, so then we do a listen. If listen failed, then here this is, uh, I guess, set receive timeout, isn't it? So uh, this is probably... Jesus. Um, well, we'll just say, uh, set receive timeouts. Okay. And then we go into here. Uh, we pass in this, so that's, a. I don't know. This is, uh, port 631, this. Port 631, this. Ah, fuck. <laughs> um, port 631, uh, 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 server, whatever. Okay. Port 631 server pointer. This. Start, leave start. Okay. So that like sets everything up. There's no way I'm gonna be be able to find this xref, right? Oh, there's an xref. Um, if it's not equal to none, then we bind it. And do while this is on this. I don't know, like uh, port six thirty one server loop. I don't know. I said a uh, receive timeout, assign session. Um, setting a timeout. This one is not sure. Not quite sure what that's doing. Um, sockets, except. Okay. If it's less than one, it's like some error thing. Otherwise, set a receive timeout. This is the, um, I have our one, except into this. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, so this is the like uh, client sockets. And I think that's gonna have the same type as this socket. Set the receive timeout. Okay, this is doing some stuff. I don't think it's important. 
I'm just moving shit around. Not too worried about it. Um, find session by. Okay. Not find. Editor. Yeah, find session by. Sign session by. Okay, so there's like sessions. That's cool. Um, if it's equal to zero, going to here. Attach. Okay. Process request. While true. Hmm. Terminate. Oh, dynamic dispatch. Dynamic dispatch on two things. Process request. Okay, here we go. Um, this, Ivar2. That is the session. Right? Uh, this is like the this pointer. Oops. So we know that that's context. Uh, it's a dynamic dispatch. Decode from. Context is nothing. Okay, where's the fucking receive, dude? That looks like a, oh. I mean, I guess these are doing dispatch, so those, th like, this could be receive. Um, this could be receive from. The 20 hex is kind of sus in the mem set on it. Fuck this garbage language, dude. Decode from. <clears throat> yeah, it's just doing the same thing over and over again, and that's pretty standard C++. Like, it's pretty fucking typical, to be honest. Um, literally everything just ends up calling 50 functions. Like, literally, it, it's basically done nothing but just move some things around in a structure. Um, it, like, still hasn't done anything yet. HTTP expects. Is this a stir compare? Alt type, query string, remote address, remote port, remote user, remote method, script name? <laughs> okay. That looks fun. Um, uh, 
Not much different than reading the source. Yeah, that's pretty fucking accurate. Content length. Request method, request URI. Jesus Christ. Like, really? Do you really need to do that fucking five times in a row? Um, okay, let's... I guess we have to find a VF table. There's probably a receive on this. Um... Let's see if there's a VF table. No, just an XREF. Transport incoming. Process request. This is like, uh, it looks like debugging stuff. Context is nothing. I don't know, that could be receiving that, zeroing stuff, do while. Um, set headers, application IPP. This looks like it's uh, constructing a response in code too, yeah. Um, so this is like probably a transmit response or something like this. Um, or probably construct response. This is probably actually the uh, sending of it. So this will bubble down and one of these is gonna be actually doing a send. Wrapping it up in some HTTP stuff. Um, yeah. And it's probably, uh, this is probably like uh, a byte buffer thing where it's doing like string concatenation. Um, yeah, that's fucking gross. Yeah, my guess is it's like string concatenation, resizing. This isn't actually the send, is it? That could be. To be honest, there's a good chance that that is actually the send. Um, it's pretty well formed data. How does this close? Just get some pointers, you know, don't do anything with them. Just get some pointers. Context is nothing. Yep. Um, so 1C, local 1C, and then that's getting a plus four on that. I wonder if that's the socket, and then there's like, uh, it's probably that IC socket. Let's go find where IC socket was. Um, um, Where's the offset on socket on this? Uh, we actually don't know. This. So let's see who calls this. Let's see if this is at offset four. Um. Hmm, this, I guess it's session based. Assign session, client socket. Okay, let's go and do this now. Um, it's definitely loading two args to this. So this takes um, an additional argument. This is a client socket. And then this is a session. Client socket, is this being used anywhere? No, it is not. No, we store an R1 in, into R7, and that just never gets used? How the fuck does it associate that socket then? Find session by, okay, maybe it's this. So 
Set receive timeout. Client sockets. This is like allocate a client socket or some shit. Ah, it actually looks like set. Okay. I have socket. Wait. Yeah, so I think this is. So this plus one C is I have sockets. Um. Let's go into one of these that does a this. 2C. Oh, I see what that's doing. That's basically looking for like a free entry. Probably derefing this shit. Um, gross. Is that actually a Bix player? It is. Touch. Hmm. Releasing code with O0. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty standard on embedded code, to be honest. Most embedded code is like this. Um, it, like most embedded developers basically complain about not having enough space, uh, and then they just ship everything with like full debug symbols and strings and uh, dash O zero and C plus plus. It's pretty fucking funny. It didn't work with O three. Yeah, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Um, that is equal to zero. That's a byte. Bind. And set local one C. Or that go to this label. That's return. Clients. Um... Except that gives us this client sockets. Unless that's not a client socket. Mm, no, I think it is. Enter except. <sighs> IS socket. This is something. This is the actual accept call. Um, you've are three. So pram two. Yeah. That is the actual socket at 14. Where the fuck is that pulled out? Okay, that's assigned at I of R2, which is uh, created off of an I of R1. This is probably like allocating out of the pool of like, hmm, maybe. R2, actually this is maybe, ah, that actually just sets Pram 1 into there. And then that fills it in and returns an I of R2. So local 20. It's not put anywhere though. It's stored, local 20. Hmm. God, that's so gross, dude. I don't know. Attach. equal to zero, pram two. Uh, 
We had zero, then negative one. Decode from this. I feel like that did a receive. Like, I feel like this did a receive. Um. And then I guess param two though. Like that's the size to receive. Receive that. Um increment that by one, increment that by one. Or one. That looks like a kind of like a packet queue, like a free list. Is that a V table call? Yes. Um, and then decode from this takes an IVAR one. Yeah. So uh, this is what this does. This is going, this is basically like the packet queue and it's basically incrementing those. Um, Maybe call prim uh, pass prim two. That's the size, thousand hex four thousand ninety six, and then return ivar one. Um, prim plus four. If it's equal to zero, okay. So what is this looking for? That plums. If it's equal to zero, so we don't want a zero. Zero is bad. So on the non-zero case. I'm guessing this is literally, it's like implied that the packet is at uh, param one plus eight. It's probably like packet and length. Like a, probably a packet pointer, it's probably a length pointer. This is checking if there's a VF table presence, right? Um, so this is like, I don't know, packet pointer, pa packet pointer, some shit. Maybe a length pointer here. This is some like VF table. I don't know, like uh, receive uh, callback or receive or something like that. Receive dispatch. Um, and then if there's an error, if there's not an error, then it just returns it out. It actually probably returns a number of bytes read, to be honest. Uh, IVAR1. Well, then it mem sets that. So it's actually returning a pointer. And that would make sense because it's a null check. So I think it is returning, it's returning a, a like, this is probably like a, a received packet object, right? Um, and if it's null, then it's an error. And then otherwise mem set for 1000. Maybe, it, oh, this is probably like allocate, yeah. This is an allocate packet. Um, let's see what it does with that length. Yeah, it's just, it's probably, none of that's probably right, but basically this is probably allocate packets. Um, if a packet object, then it zeroes out the packet object. It's probably not actually even an object. It's probably just a packet buffer. Yeah, um, yeah, it's literally just zeroing it out, and then on the session, uh, this is the buffer, the length, and then it is going to pass that buffer and length into here, where it's going to set those up on these parameters. So 24 is the buffer, and this is a buffer and a length. Uh, length is set to this. And then this is probably like the bytes read. And this is basically saying if you pass an invalid pointer, so this is like uh, initialize packet object. Um, and this is a buffer, this is the length. Um, 
we're doing this right on this, so we're gonna just say this is a. Uh, uh, we'll just create a structure out of this, um, and then we'll say this structure is a packet object. Actually, I think we have to do this. So let's say this is a packet object. Okay, and then this is the buffer. Um, okay. Oops. Uh, packet object save. Okay, buffer, um, and then the buffer type is a um, retype field. This is a, let's just say it's a byte pointer. Okay, and then here we can say this is a, a buffer length, or buffer capacity. And then this is probably like buffer in use, is my guess. Um, I don't know what these are, to be honest. Could also be in use, negative one and a zero, but I feel like this makes the most sense so far, right? Set up the buffer. If the buffer is zero, then fuck the capacity in the, in use. Obviously that is capacity. And I think this is probably in use. Um, and I don't, I don't know what those are. We'll, we'll figure this out. So we have a packet object, so we know param one, so we can look at this, we can uh, create a structure for that. And then we know that this is the packet object on that structure. Um, we'll just say this is a this. So this is initializing a packet object, and then this is going to take a packet object pointer. Um, okay, right. It should be a pointer, yeah. Uh, so this takes a packet object pointer, uh, ppvar, this. Um, if this fails, then null out the object and get really angry. Uh, and then in this case, uh, this is a packet object once again. Uh, retype packet objects. This, we have no idea what that is. And it's not his, it's this. Um, that was at 20? Yeah, we, we have no idea what's at 20 here. Completely unknown. Ref to that field. This is an interface, isn't it? Have we received it by now? Yeah, that's setting up the object. We haven't received it, have we? Buffer length. Packet buffer, uh, packet length. We zero that out. We go into there. We have a session. That's an a struct two. Uh, yeah. So that's a this. This is some session. We have a buffer and a length. Um. And given we don't use them, I'd imagine we haven't received anything. So maybe this like does literally everything. Takes a length? I don't think this takes a length. I think that's, yeah. All these are just gonna take packet objects. Offset 20. Param one. Uh, we're gonna auto type that. And I know that the packet buffer um, the packet buffer is found, uh, four bytes into this structure. 
So if we see an access four bytes into this structure, there's an eight byte into this structure. That is the buffer capacity. Yeah, eight bytes is buffer capacity. Um, plus zero, unknown. We know plus four is the buffer. Here's plus four. Um, Deref the buffer. I should be getting the buffer itself. Huh. Maybe I'm wrong. I think this is going to call receive. Oh, that's doing weird shit. Okay, that's doing weird shit. No idea what the fuck that is. Um, because didn't that pass a ref to field 20? And that is on a packet object, right? So this packet object. That's this packet object, and that's what we pass in here as a pointer. We set up those buffers and lengths. Going to here. Going to here. Then we get field 20. It's a ref. Yeah, so... Like, um, I don't know what this is. This might be a stir compare. Type. What is this fucking protocol? Path translated. Script name. Local eighteen. Pram two. The fuck is that? HTTP expect. Oh my god. Is this literally checking if the argument? Oh, this is checking what the fucking parameter is that you passed in. Wow, that's nice. So you, you pass in, hey, I'm looking for HTTP expect. And then it's like, blah, 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 blah. And then one of these is probably HTTP expect. Maybe none of them are. Um. Ram to this. I think this is stir compare. If that's not equal to that, then return the difference. If pram one is zero, then break. Um, this is stir compare. <laughs> that's very stir compare. Okay. Let's make sure those are commits. Um, so compare with that. So this is going through like each field. Ivar three plus two 
Less than eight. Um, five or three is less than zero. So this is doing a stir compare. While stir compare, local 18. Let me check this isn't some open source HTTP driver. No. Okay, while this, while assign that, and while it is not a match, and Ivar 3 is less than 22, then okay, that's the matching one. Then Ivar 3 plus 2. This is a list. Oh, fuck. Uh, well, we don't have that memory, unfortunately. <laughs> um, since we don't have that memory, this is a this is basically a, a pointers to all of the different values that it wants to check. Local eighteen, which is pram two. So this is basically scanning. This is like finding this is like finding the value that you're looking for or some shit. It's trying to like find a match. I think it actually hasn't read it yet, to be honest. Um or received. Content length? Oh, maybe it has. I don't know. Is it looking for that in the packet? Request method, request URI. Um Fuck, dude, where does it receive data? It's not before here, is it? No, that's setting up args. Setting up args. This is, like, it zeroed the fucking buffer. There's no way any the buffer has been used. Ugh. Does it... What is this? Is this allocate packet? Yeah, we think this is allocate packet. Dat. Did this allocate a 44 byte packet? If it's equal to zero, then zero. Is this going to call receive? Um, we'll just say this is going to be like global alloc packet. Okay, and then we go into here, and we have a packet. Pram one, we do this. Okay, that's just assigning some shit. Looks kind of like a constructor. And then we do another allocate packet. We set that. We zero that. This maybe is an allocate packet. This is just probably alloc. Um, I think we're just in a constructor right now. Allocate. Allocating a bunch of shit. Yeah, this is, I think this is just allocating a fuck ton of stuff, is what is going on right now. Um, and then these are operating on uvar 2 and 3. Okay, that's just updating those. Okay. 
Are these actually parsing any data? Or are they just looking for what field to care about? Um, what is this? If that's uh, null or that's null, while they, oh, it's mem copy. No, this is stir copy. Um, stir compare and then this is um, DRF plus not UVAR. Um, is this stir compare as well? No, there's assignment. This is uh, it's probably another stir copy. Holy shit. What is going on here? If it's server port. So is this like parsing a server port field? Like this code looks pretty jank. Um, Debian or Arch? Neither, Gentoo. Gentoo. Uh, that's Sterling, right? Um, is this another stir compare? What the fuck are these? Break. I feel like this is fucking stir compare, dude. If it's less, if the length is less, then return the difference on the earliest one. So uvar2 is the earliest one, so return the uh, the difference. Um, sort of fucking god. I think this is stir compare. Uh, this is, um, this is lower. No, this is upper. Two upper. Uh, this is, uh, this is stir case compare. Right. <sighs> yeah, this is stir case compare. Um So, if it's less than 22, then it does, so what does it do? It tries to do a direct comparison and then it tries to do a case comparison maybe? Because the logic looks pretty much kind of the same, but I don't understand where any data has been read yet. I think this is just like literally figuring out the code.
Like, I, I literally think this is like looking up the fucking like identifier number, or maybe like a field offset or something. Like that just fucking straight stir compares to a post. Request method post. Um. Dude, I don't understand where data has been received. Decode from allocate parent. Like that feels very much like a packet buffer, but maybe it's not. Buffer and a length. Filling those in. Uh, unless, unless this is, unless this is literally like receiving as well. Like if that is receive packet, let's imagine, well, no, that would make no fucking sense because they mem said it. Like allocate this big ass thing, transport incoming. And then they zero it, so that makes no sense. So what the fuck? Process request. I mean, maybe it's been received by now? This session so we accepted. Let's make sure it doesn't receive after accepting. It doesn't look like it does. This is fucking B swap 16, right? Local TUI. I think this is just. Uh, yeah, except this is, um, retype, uh, there should be a sock adder in, no, this one, what, local 34, one C, Mem set all stack. This is the sock adder in. Yeah, and this is a B swap sixteen. Um So this is basically just giving the ports that was accepted on. Makes sense. Um, okay, so that is just fucking straight up accepted. Uh, if accept is failed, then we set a receive timeout, and then we do something with a client socket. If param1 is not equal to zero, jit is not. Um, this might be allocates. Okay. Find session by. Else. So we're definitely in this else. Is that the matching else? Really? Okay. Um. 
That's not actually receive dispatch. Um, this is just allocate. Right, this is just allocate. Allocate 1C bytes, then we zero out those 1C bytes, and then this is doing something. Okay, okay, apparently nothing. Um, this is uh, do nothing. <laughs> this is like a return param too, right? That's literally what it does. If that is equal to zero, then zero. Otherwise, it's not equal to zero. Um, then we go into here. This is a constructor. That's a VF table. Um, so this is allocating a new something. I don't know what it is, but this is initializing it. Um, and those are the VF tables. Okay. I have socket stream. Enter read. Receive. Okay. Um, that sets it up, and then this calls, doesn't, that sets something up. So nothing is getting invoked. It is setting up the VF tables. So we could actually start associating types with these structures pretty soon here. Um, because we understand those VF tables better now. If local 20 is zero, so if session is zero, otherwise find same sock session. Otherwise assign session by this. And this client socket. Param two is what's getting initial. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, that's that, sorry. Um, this, setting up param2 on this. So we're basically creating, this is like, uh, this is new something. Um, and it's on param1, which is a, oh, um, This is initializing a global. So this is like uh, initialize global thing, right? So this global thing, if it doesn't exist, right? If this, if this points to nothing, uh, then it will initialize it and create whatever uh, this is. So um, I guess pram1. Literally, we take prem one, and that's the thing we just allocated. So we just allocated a thing. I guess that might be the heap, actually. If the heap is non-zero, uh, okay. Prem two, that is the client socket. Okay, so this is uh, this is like create new so uh, session socket socket thing. We don't know yet. Um, allocate memory, uh, mem set that memory, and then so that has been zeroed out. And now what we're going to do is s initialize that memory. Well, we just pass that through, so that does nothing. And then this is actually constructing it. So param1, and what we want to do is we want to look. This is the highest level DREF. So this, 
is the type. So hopefully we can find a string on one of these. Context is nothing. Come on, give me a fucking string, dude. Oops. Um, it's an IF object. Huh? This is the like na get object name or some shit. This is like an IF object V table. Let's fucking go. Um, and these are all the other like VF tables that go under it, I guess. Okay, these do a lot of the same thing. Pure virtual function call. Okay. Um, so this is like uh, um, set up if object uh, v table. And then that is just, I guess, an IF object. And then um, that returns IF. What the fuck does this return? It doesn't return anything. It's just a constructor. It might know that that doesn't return anything. I guess maybe it does uh, return the thing. Oops. Just say, uh, this is a void star. And then we go to offset 14 on that. And this is offset 0, 4, 8, C, 10. 14 is after it. So this sets up the IF, and then this sets up another fucking object on it. So this is uh, some other VF table. So um, we basically have a subtype here. And then we go to PPU var 5. OK, so let's say this returns uh, void star. And then we go to minus 5. Um, Plus 14. PVR plus 14. Yep. That's after that VF table in the, the four fields that are zeroed out. And then this is minus 5. It's actually basically going back to the original type. So minus 5. So this is. I feel like that's overwriting the VF table that was just assigned, right? Because uh, 5 times 4 is 14. Like, I feel like it's just overwriting this. 
uh, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's go. Let's go to seven on this. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is gonna give an IF socket stream. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So that is the same interface. Um. So basically, it is overwriting the VF table. Um, and then we set the PPU var, which is this. So we overwrite this, um, and we replace that with this one. Um, and then we zero out at one, and then we return minus five. <laughs> Holy fuck. So this is basically, uh, this is create whatever this socket stream is. This, this is like I have socket stream constructor or something like that. Um, no. Uh, VF table, sick. Um, then this is a, is that also an IF socket stream VF table? The fuck is this? Label? I don't fucking know what that is. Enter detach. Hmm. Well, there's read. <laughs> the one we probably care about. Oh, so we have a stream wrapper on probably this is probably an eye of socket. Right? We probably have, we probably have a stream that's wrapping on top of a socket. Right? This this is gonna have like close open close read write like. Yeah. Let's just say um What? Didn't we see strings on these? Oh, it was when we went into them. Okay, so that's getting That's a constructor for that. This would be a destructor then. Maybe, probably. And then minus 14. And this is subtracting off 14 uh, because that's getting the stream. Yeah, so this is uh, read. We can say this is read, which means that's read. This is going to be like a buffer. No, that's actually the same read. Um, and then this is going to call the fucking interface. So this is I have sockets. So I guess there's an I have socket on this. And then that's actually going to do the receive. Uh, do receive. Um, this is uh, this is rec v. Okay. Um, and we ran out of history. Son of a bitch. Where the fuck were we then? 
God damn it, why is the history not fucking deep enough? Holy shit, dude. Have to literally dig through extras. Well, what, you can't store like fucking 20 most recently visited addresses? That is that too much in your object-oriented Java? Holy fuck. Um create a new socket thing. Okay. So this has um Ivar2. We're returning Ivar2. So let's say that Ivar2 is an IF socket stream pointery boy. It doesn't exist. Um, so we're gonna make it exist by going into the constructor. We're going to maybe auto type this if we can. Okay. Um, actually, I don't want that because it does the plus minus five, which is really weird. Um, God, the like minus five is so fucking weird, dude. Um, I actually like don't even know how I'd say that is. So we can say that this is an IF object, right? plus 14 wow so this is the like yeah so this is like if object uh, 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 hex 14 right um, and that's being stored here which I guess is just gonna whack that into there this is another if object so we just wrapped it in a stream effectively and then uh, param 114, we pass in this. This is the IF object, which you set eh, again to 14. You just keep wrapping shit in streams. Um, and then once that attachment has been completed, then the session actually has an IF object. Uh, transport incoming session. So session. Uh, was that? First argument, this, this, uh, 1C, that's just setting stuff up. We're curious about, I think, 14 hex. 20, just setting shit up. Once again, just, just writing to memory a bunch. Just writing to memory a bunch. Um, and then we're done with this. Unless this takes another parameter and it's associating these, I have no idea how that receive is getting invoked. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's just figuring out like what it is expecting from the session. Process request. This is probably the response, isn't it? 14 not equal to zero. 14, 18, Ivar 1, Prem 2, Terminate, yeah. Assign session by, find session by, I have objects. Hmm. These things are just so linked in so many fucking ways, dude. Each history stack requires like 20 megs of storage. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, transport and coming. Allocate back. Uh, 
Where, what an offset is this? But I'm pretty sure this is allocate. Yeah, this is 18 hex. Dude, I don't understand how this receives. Decode from ret. Okay, so this is decode from um, error end, right? Decode from this. But that buffer, that buffer was literally just zeroed, right? Literally just zero. It allocated a big ass thing and it zeroed it. And that's why I'm so confused. Like this, I'm pretty sure is setting up a packet object. Like, these are one, basically like replacing shit. Ivar one, and then this is, okay, what are these doing? What are these doing? We got VF tables in here. Oh boy. Okay, um. Set up. IF, so you have an IF, and then uh, we replace it, of course. So we, we basically, we, we make the V table and then we replace it uh, with this V table. And this is a IF IPP message. Okay, uh, then that's setting that up. Allocate a package into <laughs> town with IPP. The insane packet posse. <laughs> um, mem set seven for eight. Call allocate memory. Twenty. That dispatches to pram one twenty, passing a pram two. Prem one comes from prem plus four, which is the context. And then the context is two, this. This is the context, that data. Oh my God, dude, it's such a fucking rat's nest. I don't fucking get it, dude. How many times are you going to reassign the fucking V tables? Oh my god, I hate this language, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, there we go. Setting setting that up. Got we got a we got a new V table going. Good, good. Prem one, same as that. Okay, then we set up prem one. Q 
Cube R2, we set that as five on this. And then we set that at eight. Okay, so we've got like four nested structures. Okay, cool. So now, somewhere in there, there's a thing, but we don't use it. All we're doing is just setting up fucking VF tables. That's all we do. Everything here is setting up a VF table. Like literally nothing is actually doing anything, but just making new classes and then deleting them and then replacing them. Holy shit. Like, It, it doesn't end. It literally just does nothing forever. 201. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Working with unoptimized code is actually the fucking worst, dude. It's so fucking annoying. Alright, I'm going to bed. <laughs> See you guys later. <laughs> Bye!